Hello. Session four. Welcome everybody who's watching so far and everybody who will watch in the future. Um, this is session number four, which means we've been streaming for four weeks, which is like a month. What? How crazy is that? Very exciting milestone. Even though it's only once a week, still a very exciting milestone for me, at least. Anyways, hey. so for announcements this week, um, I'm just going to pass it over to Spencer. Hello. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to be talking about Creator of the Week. Um, <clears throat> there should have been a TikTok video. TikTok denied that request. So <laughs> I will try to get on that probably later today. But creator of the week this week is Ghetto Suguru, uh, aka his name is Seneca. He is a very cool artist here on TikTok. Uh, he draws very cool D and D art. Uh, he also takes commissions if anybody's interested. Um, uh, he's very he's got very lovely art on his page. And also a couple cryptic videos if you're interested in that. But, mm. you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so make sure to go give him a follow and send him a bunch of love. <laughs> oh, and also, don't forget to do the poll. That is in our link tree for uh, April's cosplay build. We still have Sonder in the lead, but if you want a different character, make sure to go uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, vote in our poll, in our link tree. Or if you're on the Discord, it should be on there as well. So, Do Mati. <laughs> I will be honest, I did send the poll to all of my friends in the group chat, and I told them that they could vote for whoever they wanted to. Okay? But I think most of them voted for me, so maybe that's why I'm winning. <laughs> so sorry about that, for skewing the numbers. Um, but other than that, that's what we've got. So, let's begin. Okay. Last time we left off, right before hitting combat, you guys are in the Rosewater Company where uh, production has been stopped, as we know, by mysterious events with product and employees going missing um, and a lot of just broken glass all around the factory. Uh, you opened a safe and that had a surprising chicken jump out of it, which ended up exploding in a bunch of sparks and disappearing off into thin air. And now Igni, who is the only person currently downstairs, um, is has has been met with some um creatures who giggling, have jumped in, creatures. giggling creatures who have jumped in through the window right at his face and i think we can begin by rolling initiative then because ah! oh okay. my god what are, what okay. are these <laughs> i don't like this at all god damn it i rolled a two i also so, rolled a two so I am so what? boned. <laughs> uh, I also rolled a two, but I get a plus four, so that's a six. I get a plus two. That's a four. Four. Nice. I also got a six. <laughs> I got a twenty-one. So nice. And I got an eighteen. <laughs> hey, this works out. I'm still like Am I still in Monty's you? arm. <laughs> <laughs> We'll go together. <laughs> this is fine. I'll just throw you. <laughs> okay. Help. <laughs> Help. Help. <laughs> yeah, we all okay. gotta get downstairs before we can start fighting. Die. Yeah. So, Al is gonna go up first, and here is the scene for context. Um, there's four of you on the upper floor. Um, probably most of your movement to run down the stairs and get a vaguely in a sight of Igni. Though it is an open floor plan where you can look down, so you can have line of sight like that. You can also do some cool parkour, and you see uh, there are two tiny creatures, less than a foot tall, hovering at the opening of the window, peering in. 
Uh, one of them has big like monarch butterfly wings um, and hair tied back. And the second one um, is buzzing with more uh, dragonfly-like wings. Um, also, there are two creatures um, that seem to be um, halfway through almost jumping in uh, when it gets to their turn, um, aiming at Igni's face. Uh, they are relatively small also. Um, these kind of uh, dark, bug-eyed things. Um, their eyes are glowing yellow. They're, they're bald. One of them is wearing... Uh, what looks to be a vest that's way too big for it, uh, that's uh, embroidered with colorful, uh, like different colorful scenes over the vest, but the vest is definitely not in great shape, um, even though it has a beautiful design. Uh, and with that, Al, you're up first. That is what you will see in front of you whenever you uh, make your way over. And we begin combat. Cool, cool, cool. Um, roughly. How high up am I? And like, how far away am I? What's what's the distance mm -hmm. like? You're on um, the floor above the ground floor. So about usual height. Um, and you okay. are about from the office. Um, yeah, about in a straight line, if you were to just jump down, that is about 40 feet to get directly to Igni. Um, a bit more if you want to go uh, down the stairs, because you have to turn to the side. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, am I... So I'm not in range to use my longbow. All right, so I'm going to try and jump down do some parkour and get down there and then can i hold my action until one of them moves within like 10 feet of me okay uh can you make me a dex check a def ac an acrobatics or an athletics uh check for making your way down you got it Do Okay, so that is going to be 17 acrobatics. Do a nice okay. little flip. Yeah. You Beautiful. do the um, free point landing. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yes. Okay, and you have a ready to action. Yes. Good. Coming up next, one of the um, little sprites that are still up um, slightly out of um, reach uh, above Igni is going to go ahead and uh, seeing you make your way down you see it raise up a hand as uh, and look at you appearing a very very scary opponent um, and as you look down below you from between uh, the floorboards of the factory there are uh, vines making its way up to grasp you. Um, so, so there are sprites and vines just all around me. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, this one, this one is aiming currently at Al because she's just made her way down uh, and looks very scary. Uh, because women with weapons. So that's a good name for a D and D podcast. <laughs> oh yeah oh i would i would watch that podcast so much <laughs> if anyone's starting a podcast there you go there you have a name um and Al, i need you to make me a strength saving throw as these vines are making their way up to you <laughs> okay um so uh, t uh 21 again that definitely saves um yeah the the vines try to make their way up and grab your arms and legs and you just pull and they break off from the ground and next up is sonder okay um i'm just gonna i'm well i'm gonna use all of my movement speed to get as close to igni as possible um, I was already mm -hmm. on the balcony, but I think that maybe would save me five feet. 
if anything. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to just get down to Igni and Al, or as far as I can get to them. Um, and I'm just going to do the exact same thing that Al's doing, and I'm going to uh, prepare my action to, whenever one gets within 10 feet of me, poke them with my stick. And that's going to okay. be my turn. Very nice. Um, very nice. You very nice. You see these uh, these sprites that are there up on the windowsill uh, kind of start fluttering more as they see more of you running down. Um, and another one uh, is going to go ahead and uh, attempt to cast a spell. Which I actually have to look at right now because it has a long ass description. Um, I wish I could cast. Uh, how close? How close to give her the two of you standing right now, Al and Sonder? Um, I probably just took up Al's side and we're posted up in our little ten foot prep place, looking all cool. Mm -hmm. Back to back, uh, Charlie's Angels. I guess. Uh, you see this uh, monarch winged sprite um, put its hand into its pocket and pull out these tiny shells that still look pretty massive on its hand, and it throws them in your direction, and I need the two of you to make me a wisdom saving throw. Oh god. Hmm, <laughs> 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 mm, luckily I'm proficient in that with a plus two. Seventeen. Nine. Nine. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay, Sander, you feel great. Um, I always feel great. Yeah, you you're completely ready to kick ass. Um, Al, I'm gonna need you to just remember that you have a, a you can't take a reaction right now, and B I'm gonna need you to roll me a d10 when your turn starts. So we'll we'll wait for until oh, that happens. No. Oh no! Oh uh, no! And no. saying oh no, dress is up next. Oh okay. Um, I'm gonna. Pat Monty on the on the shoulders, but like I think I can take it from here, darling. And I'm gonna hop down. Um how there's a railing? Yes. Like we're on the second floor. Okay, I'm gonna do some dope monk shit and hop off the railing. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Uh, athletics or acrobatics? Acrobatics. That is ooh, okay. Not bad. If you would tell me my total score, that's a which is a nineteen. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, um, any? Are you doing any cool flips on your way? Sure, down? I am full on like ninjaing this <laughs> down. <laughs> I don't know. Um. All right, and then so. Now that I'm on the first floor, how close am I to enemies? Um, you were in the office when we started, yes. right? Okay. So that's um that's fifty, so you're about still like forty feet away. Okay. I think I can throw a dart at them. Okay. So I will. I'm gonna throw a dart at them. Mm -hmm. Who are you throwing it at? Uh, whichever is the closest. Okay. Um, probably one of the um yellow-eyed uh bigger creatures that are making its way down. You can aim for one wearing a vest or one not wearing a vest, so uh, I don't know if that's a preference. Here. <laughs> but they're both kind of <laughs> aiming right now their way at Nagami's face. Okay. Uh, well, okay, so to throw the dart, that was 8 plus 6, which is 14. Mm -hmm. 14 that... hit? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, that hits. Alright. 
Where do I get? Ooh, six points of piercing damage. <laughs> okay. Um, you see this hit the creature, and um, the one you hit has specifically very like bug out eyes that just kind of open even wider in shock as as you hit it. Um, and you see it kind of stumble as it's trying to figure out if it should jump forward or maybe retreat. Um, as it's Come at me! Not bloodied yet. Not bloodied yet, <laughs> but... Um, ne next up is Monty. Okay. Um, I'm going to follow right after Drez and also jump off the <laughs> <laughs> ledge. Check. Uh, okay. Um, oof. Yikes. <laughs> um, a five. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. A what? A five. A five! Fuck. Okay, you know, you land on the ground, um, you don't land on your legs, you do kind of land on your side, and you Ow. are prone. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> uh, well. Well. <laughs> you can, can get up, it? it will take, how, however, half of your movement, I think. Okay, I already used my movement to go jump off, though, right? Was, did mm -hmm. I have any left? Uh, yeah, you probably you probably have enough to get up. And... Okay, um, yeah. I'll get up. <laughs> can I still use a bonus action? Uh, yeah, you can you can use you can use an action and a bonus action, but only um, you know, the range is the problem. Oh, cool. Okay, um, then I'm going to cast Sacred Flame on one of the little sprite thingies that mm -hmm. Drez just hit. So you have to make a I believe it's a dexterity saving throw. Like one okay. d8 damage. All right. Let me look at these little. Uh, that is an eleven plus. Sorry. Say that again. Uh, a sixteen overall. Damn it. Okay. Um. Nope. Uh. You save, so it doesn't do anything. <laughs> hmm. Um, you see, it's then... just like a very annoying mosquito that you've been trying to kill for five hours. Just... <laughs> um, and then as a bonus action, I'm going to cast um, Searing Smite on my staff. Nice. All right. Um, with that being your turn, it's now one of the um, larger non-sprite creatures that got hit with the dart. Um, uh, which is gonna go ahead and jump off of the window next to Igni. Um, and you see it pull back. Um, this kind of um, it looks to be a part of some, some piping system that it, it's holding. Um, and it's gonna uh, go ahead and try to uh, just smack you with it. <laughs> um, you see as it's jumping down, um, that extra moment of hesitation from getting hit with the dart costs it a lot, and as it lands and tries to hit you, it just misses by a mile. Um, and it's now standing directly next to you. Um, what are these things look like again? They're like... Um, short little short dudes uh they're relatively small with um uh the saturated purple skin a uh, bald heads um extending like ears and they have very bug out yellow eyes that just kind of like flicker around the environment could i possibly do would i know what these are uh you can uh, would you know what these are you know what? Make make me a very easy. What would it be? What is what? What's recognizing these little things? Would that be like an arcana? Nature. Look at mine. Maybe. Yeah. You know what? Uh, either or. Uh, either or. Uh, my computer is directly blocking my. Do nature. Yeah, to move Ooh, that's a unnatural twenty. Okay. Uh, these are boggles. Oh. They're little fey creatures. You might have heard uh, of them from mostly from just fairy tales and stories that uh, kids hear around. 
Um, but they sometimes uh, pop up on the material plane um, where they are kind of um, mischievous assholes sometimes. Uh, yeah, I hear. And this one just attempted to punch you and failed miserably. Uh, and you are up next. Oh, I kind of like look at it with pity almost. I'm just like, oh, oh, you're going to be something scary. Uh, where are we? Are we? We're killing these things, right? Yeah. I believe uh, so. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Uh, well, if that's the case, uh, then I'm just going to go ahead and can I potentially get two of them in a line? Uh, you could get one of the sprites and one of the boggles that's still up on the window, probably in a line, but not two of the boggles because one is right next to you and one is still in the window. Okay, then I'll I'll do that. I'll get the sprite and the boggle in the line. Okay. If that if I can do that without taking an attack of opportunity, and I'm gonna go ahead and cast uh, Tasha's Caustic Brew, and I think I need them to make deck dexterity saving throws. But let me just be sure. Dexterity saving throws. Yeah. As I pull out just what looks like a, a bottle of gunk, and I open it up, and I chant something into it, and then throw it at them, covering them in acid. Yep, dexterity saving throw for both of them, please. Okay, so for the sprite, it's going to be a 21. For the boggle, it's a 10. Boggle fails, sprite succeeds. <laughs> These uh, tiny things are so dexterous. They're just like sitting around there. So I don't know uh, that's a word. he is now covered in acid. And at the beginning mm -hmm. of a turn, he's going to take 2d4 acid damage unless he takes an action to scrape it off. Okay. Uh, so is that it for your turn? Um, yeah. That's all I'm going to be. That's all I'm going to do right okay. now. Um, so next up is this little boggle guy who is now covered in acid, and his options are take damage or, or scrape it off, right? Well, he, he takes damage, uh, regardless then, for the first turn, and At then the end of, yeah, off. but he could take his action too. Okay. So he's gonna take, so yeah, roll me that damage. Oh, that's two fours, he could take eight points of acid damage. Ooh, okay. Um, you see him kind of look at you and then look back at himself. And then he'll just let out this very loud screech <laughs> and hubs back um, outside from the window, outside. <laughs> just <gasps> runs for the hills. Bye. What? I'm just confused more than anything. <laughs> uh, and we're back to the top of the order with Al. And I need to roll the d10? Yes. Correct. Okay. Correct. All right. I got an eight. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Um. Okay, 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 okay. Um, how many people are in reach of you <laughs> right now? Okay. Sonder for sure. I mm -hmm. guess you didn't move, did you? Mm -mm. Uh, so I would be too because I jumped down <laughs> same spot. I I guess technically I would too. I don't know where we jumped down to. We're all huddled. I am guessing vaguely <laughs> next to each other. Okay. Um. God. Do you want? Mm. Do you want to? You know what, Al? Um, you could roll me. Um, I guess what's a a, a d six because there's three people next to you. That's how we're gonna do this. Okay. I'm gonna First line you up how I see you on the board. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. The decision of who we're attacking. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, Al, you just feel uh, yourself um, draw your weapon as you are forced to attack Sonder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, I'm gonna take my giant war hammer do i am i aware of what i'm doing or do i like want to attack him um do you i mean you're 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 it's it's all very confusing for sure. you right now yeah I'll, i was not super smart okay uh whip it out and just go get away from me and 
slam you with my giant warhammer. Oh, hello, Al. Is there something you wanted to? Oh! <laughs> 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 um. So that's um. Uh. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a uh, a dirty twenty to hit. Um. No, that doesn't hit. Wasn't it? <laughs> of course, it does. Okay, no. cool. cool. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> um, all right, so that is gonna be um eight damage to you, dear that friend. That is a nice big juicy chunk of my HP. <laughs> cleric panic, cleric panic. <laughs> <laughs> Shoulders you're gonna have to restrain. Al. Fuck. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say who the beefiest boy is. <laughs> um, okay, and you can you can I can make me um another uh wisdom saving throw. Plus, um, that is gonna be wow a uh, ten. Been better well, than last time. So. We're slowly getting there, but we're not quite there yet. <laughs> oh no. And now I'm locked and engaged in combat with Al. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is this is this is what we call a warring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Next up is um, one of the sprites. Um, and you, as you look up at the sprites who are watching you guys right now um, in this very awkward hitting each other situation, or at least Al hitting someone there, uh, they are giggling like crazy. They seem to be enjoying the show. Um... Kill them. Okay. One of them uh, starts moving out from um, from the window uh, along the ceiling, um, and it gets um, about ten feet closer. So it's it's um, oh, she's like thirty five, thirty feet away from me right now, <laughs> and uh, it pulls out um, what looks to be a bit of a twig uh, and some twine. Um, and a very small arrow. Um, and it's gonna uh, go ahead and shoot. Um, who's looking like now? Not the, not, not, the, not the two of you who are putting on an amazing show for, for the sprites, but between rolling the dice for making choices. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hi, Monty. Brought his shoulders means gonna... biggest target. <laughs> Damn mm -hmm. it. Uh, does a 19 hit? Oh, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. I you know ask, it does. I ask this fully out of curiosity. Okay. Um, so you take uh, one piercing damage as you feel this, or it's basically the size of a needle just kind of like hit Ow. you. And I need you to make me uh, a constitution saving throw. Okay. <laughs> no. Um, 15. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, you, you, you feel, uh, just a bit of a sting and you pull out the arrow and it seems to have done no further damage other than that, um, one bit right. of, uh, cool. of pain there. And, uh, Sander is up next. Well, it seems as if I would in, engage in combat with my dear friend Lady Alicia, um, and fear for my life if I were to disengage, um, or try to not disengage and get an attack of opportunity on myself. So, <clears throat> I am going to... This is a hard one. Um, I'm going to... Yeah. Cast the light cantrip on mm -hmm. the blade of my glaive, and I'm gonna hold it out in front of your face. I'm not actually gonna hit you. 
but I'm just gonna shove a really bright light up in your face and like stand back as much as I can so that you can't come forward because there's a blade but also you can't see anything because there's light in your face <laughs> you, stay, you stay over there I don't know what's wrong with you I don't know why magic shells made you do this and I'm gonna I'm gonna try and hold Al at distance from myself I have no clue what check to even make this <laughs> <laughs> Make a stay back check. Stay <laughs> back, back, Make back. Make sure weapon someone. Um, my my brain is just. Make a confused. stay back. Follow the light with your eyes. Make a stay back. I don't think um, I I mean, he is kind of trying to blind her with light. He is kind of trying to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Uh, is does blind uh, does uh, but does what what does light work like? Because I actually need to check. For... <clears throat> bright light in a twenty foot radius, and it's it's right in front of Al's face. It'd probably be a dex save. Yeah, a dex saving throw for Al. There we go. That is what I am good at. Um, so that is going to be Oh, uh, four... one. Nope, sixteen. <laughs> yeah. Sixteen. <laughs> Think she's gonna huck your blade away. <laughs> oh man. Now I'll just pissed. Just ready, yeah. ready to throw down. <laughs> That's the end of my turn. Okay. <laughs> I am just worried for Sonder. Sonder, no. Um, we were gonna have a sleepover. Can't do that if you're dead. <laughs> uh, second sight makes its way um, out from the window. Again, moving along the ceiling, just kind of flying as the w wings flutter. Um, and it again flies up in range and is going to take a shot at Dress, um, which is an 11 to hit. That does not hit. A I go some cool mom dodging right there. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very rude behavior. A very rude. Um, and then the sprite moves back to the window. Um, and it it pulls out what looks to be um a tiny crumb of a snack. And just kind of sits down and begins snacking on it. Um, and with breaks, applause for for Al. Don't patronize uh, us. <laughs> and dresses up next. Um, I have to make performance checks. Okay. Um, I'm very confused because I don't know if they actually want to hurt us or if they just want a show. <laughs> um, you said the one dude ran off. Yeah, the one who got sprayed in acid just not here anymore. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, hmm. Do I attack? Do I chase? Do I attack? Do I chase? <laughs> These are the questions. I will say, just for uh, because th we did have this um, a week ago, so for context, you did barricade the door out, and the window that they are coming for. Oh yeah, like they're like it's like really, really is, small. Um, creatures smaller than medium, I would say. So, all right, never mind then. I guess I'm attacking. Also, I realized that I have, I can use 
a bonus action to attack again. Uh, my bad. Uh, I have an arm strike, which I can use an additional weapon to attack again if they are in range. So, uh, so I guess they're they're flying, huh? I can't mm -hmm. actually like get to them. Okay, well, I think I can throw my spear. <laughs> yes, exactly. That is the, so, that is the second option. I'm going to get closer to them. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh. And I'm going to huck. I'm gonna huck my spear at them. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, there's one that's on the window watching, and there's one that's still up uh, closer to you on the ceiling. Uh, whichever one is closer. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, that is 16 plus 6, which is 22. Definitely hits. Alright. Okay. 1d6. That is 3 plus 4, which is 7 points of piercing damage. Uh, does my spear s stay stuck in them, or does it fall out? Um, you know what? Um, you, the spear is not as much stuck right now in the sprite. It is stuck in the ceiling with the sprite. You've, you've basically created, um, you know how, how people pin butterflies? Like, um, not, not alive butterflies, thank God. Uh, however, you did pin an alive sprite to the ceiling. Um, okay. that's kind of it, the sprite. <laughs> oh, no, wait, no, wait, just... okay. I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay, no, as a bonus mm -hmm. action, I can use a different weapon because I have two weapon fighting. So, yeah, <laughs> if my spear doesn't come down, I guess I I guess I'm gonna throw a dart at it. <laughs> <laughs> so you have one. You have uh one spread. Are you now targeting the second one, or are you? Or what are you doing? Because um, is the one st being pinned down? Does it look 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 looking rough? Oh, it's Looks dead. dead. It's okay. gone. It's all right. It's I guess about yay big. I will. <laughs> it's not gonna survive. Tiny. That. All right. <laughs> well, tiny. I guess I'm gonna hug a dart at the other one. Okay. That's, Go ahead and roll. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Virtual dice love me, apparently. Uh, that's a 17 plus 16, which is 23. And that also hits. The curse has okay. been lifted. <laughs> uh, so let me just Spencer's double, no your curse by device, double check this real quick. Okay. Okay, so I think if I'm reading this right, I still do the two points of piercing damage, but I don't add the modifier. Mm -hmm. So that's just two points of piercing damage. Yeah, um, again, because of the size, this one is still holding on to life by Fred. Um, but it's basically like if you hit it with um, a ballista shot. So oh, it's perfect. it's looking very rough. Looking very rough. Um, gonna... You kind of get it. It's like smugly clapping, and then it reaches for more of its uh, crumb snack, and it just gets like almost hit out of the window. It's still there, but uh, oh, you hit it very strongly. I I, and it's I turn. Oh. oh, I was just gonna say as a free action, I'm just gonna start laughing at them and like <laughs> <Good job. laughs> take that. That's gonna be a such a hard time to get my spear back. <laughs> Wait till I get to level three and I can fly up and grab it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Is it my turn? Yes. Um, okay. Um, Monty is so confused, doesn't know what's going on, but in his meathead panic, he sees that Sonder is being attacked, so I'm going to tackle 
Al for a grapple oh check. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Okay, gonna... grapples. So, is that like an opposed grappling strength is... check? Yeah, grappling is, I think, what is it? Athletics versus uh, athletics or acrobatics? Or is, it, or is it like strength versus dex? One of those. I will check so I don't say wrong things. Grapples. There we go. Um, yep, yeah, you make an athletics check contested by the targets athletics or acrobatics. Cool. <laughs> I got a 22. I got a 10. <laughs> Thank God. Okay. Shoulders just. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, Al, you're right now grappled, meaning your speed is zero. Cool, cool. And, and that's it, I think. Yeah, you can't move it in place. Why are you hurting our friend? As I'm just like rolling with <laughs> you on the ground. <laughs> let me go, let me go, let me go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, could I also make, like, a medicine check on her, or is that my turn? Um, you could use an action. Yeah, I was gonna say, and also, making a skill check usually takes a full action. Okay, then yeah. just the tackle. Cool. Run, Sonder! <laughs> I'm already gone! <laughs> Um, and coming up next is, um, the little guy who is next to Igni, um, who looks at Al, looks at Monty, uh, and, uh, Igni, you see as it's kind of, like, looking between them, um, out of the pores of its skin, you just see this, like, iridescent oil just kind of, like, form around it. Um, I light a match. And then it... <laughs> <laughs> um, and it proceeds to jump onto your back and kind of try to like grab you. Get the hell off me! What the hell? Um, and <laughs> he's got an oily covered... fairy on my uh -huh. back. <laughs> yep, and the oil it's covered in is very sticky, and you're trying to toss it off. And I'm gonna need you to make me again. Uh, athletics probatics against this creature, which is rolling for advantage because it is a sticky boy. Oh. It glued, he glued himself to you. Oh, it, it'd be cute if it wasn't weird. <laughs> <laughs> you, said a, a, <laughs> you said an acrobatics check? Uh, acrobatics or athletics for keeping well, a grapple? Uh, two. Two, okay. Uh, well, the, the, the thing rolled. Uh, Six with advantage, but well, shit. I guess. <laughs> you and you rolled a you rolled a what? You rolled a what? I rolled a two plus two is four. Two. Okay, we're not. We're the, you're. It's very awkward because it's like it's get managing to get you, but it's clearly not doing well. But you're somehow doing even worse than it's doing. Ah, I didn't um, stretch today, so I can't reach back. Yeah. <laughs> it's an awkward side overall. It's just you are now uh, grappled as as we are just. In two different grappling situations on Wait, the Wait, I'm grappled? Platform. Yeah. Is it like a like a magical thing? Or am I like uh no, it's just on your back and it's just holding on to you very tightly. Uh is it I does it like does that like uh, does that like affect my legs at all? Or is it like It means you can't move. Your speed is zero, you can't take uh any benefits to your speed. You just can't move basically. Okay. It's it's just decided to uh, to just be on your back. Got it. This slide is okay. going well. You've got enough <laughs> insects on your back. Be super easy. I was like, oh, this 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 is gonna be like two rounds. It's whatever. <laughs> here, we, here we are. <laughs> it's fine. I'll rescue and, you all. It's fine. <laughs> and Igni, it is now your turn. You have a sticky sticky boggle on your back. 
Oh, it's a boggle. Oh, I thought it was a fairy or one of the sprites. I was like, so this. No, no, it's a... I can't move because yeah. this six inch creature is on my back. I, I was confused. <laughs> Sorry uh, for the specifying. No, you're, you're good. You're good. Um, okay, is the is the sprite still on the window or is the was that? Uh, yeah, it's still it's still on the window. Is it just Looking... watching? Um, I think it's just it's just kind of uh, crying right now over just the fact it got hit with a dart. Um, so. Uh, okay. Um, I'm gonna kind of yell at it, and I'm just gonna go, "What the hell's your problem?" As I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna take my three magic stones, and I'm just gonna hold them behind me and just <laughs> shoot the guy <laughs> with one of the magic stones. Uh, who's grappling me? I'm just gonna like reach behind me and just like. Like a figure going. Like, uh, it does have disadvantage, okay. though, unless you want to do a different ruling, because um, it's a ranged spell attack. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that still makes sense. It's it's a bit difficult to aim over there. Got it. All right. Ooh, okay. It's a seventeen. That's a seventeen. I rolled two seventeens. Ooh, very so, nice. That hits. Yep. So that's a D six plus three. Two. So he takes okay. five points of magic bludgeoning damage. Five points. Okay. Is that bonk him? Mm -hmm. You can't. Um. You can't see it because he's uh on your back. Uh, but for the rest of you, um, the the boggle, um, the sticky boggle is looking, um, pretty beaten up. I just turn around and say, can somebody just shoot this thing, please? Yeah, no problem. Just miss. give me a oh, second. Wait, wait, I have an idea. Uh, as a bonus action, is it possible for mm -hmm. me to just fall? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, so after I shoot him, I'm just going to cross my arms and just, just like, jump up and, like, try and suplex him into the ground. Nice. Corral. See, if he, takes, oh, see okay. if he takes enough damage to, to maybe kill him. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to find my uh trying to figure out how, how much damage does a falling igni do? Um <laughs> try beautiful. Don't you also have a sack of heavy metal armor on it's, your back? It's 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 not on me. Okay. I'm not wearing it. That'd be cool though. Use that as a weapon. <laughs> yeah, that would be very, very, very cool. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Technical difficulties while I try to figure out my new DM screen where I did not put I didn't put my favorite thing on it. How rude. Okay. Um Oops, if it helps I can tell you how much I weigh. <laughs> yes, please, please. Uh for sure. I weigh I weigh 180. And I think it's every 100 pounds does six points of or the D6 of bludgeoning damage, but I could be wrong. Okay, and can you do for me, a future art student, the, the math on what you just said? <laughs> sure, sure, I got you. So, uh, <laughs> hold on. So, I assume uh, Igni would be a falling object, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yes, Igni's not a falling uh, object. Okay. Um, so, if I am between 100 and 200 pounds... And I'm only falling at what would be around, I think, for the game's classification of five feet. That would mm -hmm. mean that it is going to take uh, a d6 of bludgeoning damage. A d6. Okay. Yes. Okay, well, this d6. That, that felt way too close for a math problem yeah. for my liking. <laughs> if Igni is falling in the speed <laughs> of, of... <laughs> six seconds, one. What? <laughs> yeah, it, it's just, and you know what? Um, you guys are now stuck to the floor. Oh shit! I didn't think oh. this through. Oh god! And I'm covering him too. Oh man! Uh -huh. so and you is... just kind of hear him, hear him going from really like, oh. <laughs> As you are two are now stuck to the floor of the factory. Um, <laughs> help! And bad <that> idea. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if 
10 out of 10. We love this. Is this is chaotic. <laughs> this is very chaotic. What did we expect for our second encounter with combat? <laughs> so good. I mean, we saw how it started with the chicken. Yeah. I mean, okay, but to be go. fair, he can't move. Monty can't move. So. Al also can't move. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, uh, there's only one little pixie, I think, right? <laughs> Me and Drez, Sandra yeah. and Drez, high five. Well, I get the ultimate wig, because I didn't take any damage. <laughs> okay. Um, however, uh... Hey Al, um, yeah. I need you to roll me another d10. What? Just no. so you know what's, just your your grapple, but just so we know what your what what this is. Uh, um, it's a three, but I don't really think I need to do that. I think it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all good. Um, a three. Yeah. Okay. Um, as you're being grappled, you just just stop moving. As you're very sitting very, very still. Um, and you can make me another wisdom saving throw. Thank god. Come on, please. Natural 20! Woo! Woo! Bling. And this confusing fog. Oh, oh no. The entirety of my Discord just froze for a moment. You're back, we can see you. Am I back? You're good. Okay, good. I just saw everything freeze in my life flash before my eyes. Uh, as this kind of confusing fog lifts from your head, you're just now sitting completely still, grappled, um, and you just see the the scene with, with Monty, who's just, just grappling you, and then there's a Sonder with the glowing weapon, um, and Igni's just stuck to the ground, and you can just hear these weird, uh, boggle grunts from below him, and that's what you open your eyes to, as you're out of your confusion. Hey, what the hell just happened? Are you, are you, are you back to, hello? <laughs> yeah, Do you know, I'm... you were attacking Sonder. <laughs> that, no, that doesn't sound like me. Um... Uh, I've got the scars to prove it, it hurt quite bad. <laughs> Sorry, um, yeah, you, you come on the show now, skin. I think I'm good. Okay, okay, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> okay, no, thank you. What the Don't do it again. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> cool. <sighs> and, um, well, technically, I guess we're still on the ship. There's still one sprite left on the window. Um, yep. Which is eyeing the exit, um, with much interest. Um, come get and me. And is up next. <laughs> Sonder, okay. Sonder is going to run over to Igni. Um, and I'm gonna try and like spatula them up off of the ground while also like poking the guy underneath. So I'll run over and be like, lift your arm. Let me hold on, hold on just one moment. Let's see. And I'm gonna like sp squat all the way <laughs> and squat all the way down. And like, um, okay. So I'm going to come in right over, I'm going to come in right over here, and I'm just going to like, right down under into the, the boggle, and then try and like, mm -hmm. lift them up off the ground if I can do both. Okay, make me an athletics check. Alright. I am also trying to stabby stab at the same time. Um, for athletics, that's an 11. No. For <laughs> uh, an 11, you, you're kind of, you get them like half away, um, where they're still, they're still kind of like on the floor. You've managed to do most of the job. Uh, like Igni can probably go from just being flat on his back to just going to, to the sides. <laughs> Um, so he's not gonna choke if he starts eating, but he's still stuck to the ground. Thanks. <laughs> and do I, can I do any damage with that, can I do any damage with that 
trying to like stab the guy at the same time. The bogle. How are you trying to stab him and lift them? Are you using the the glaive as the? Uh... Yeah. So I'm yeah, because I was using the blade of the glaive to like mm -hmm. stab it and push. <laughs> mm hmm. Uh, with an eleven, I think you um. Uh... Uh, you cut his vest in half, um, so it's now just there's a bit of it still on the ground. There's You've a bit of it still on him. You've been bested, Buggle. Help! But what it if starts help? Just, it starts doing a lot. They're like meow, 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 as you cut the vest. <laughs> 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 um, wretched tongue. That's kind of all um, I can do. And... Speaking abyssal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And you see, um, as you're just done um, basically doing a boggle pizza, uh, you see the sprite on the window very quietly as it just starts kind of going outside um, on its turn, just heading away from you. Um, and it makes its way out and it's Drez's turn. Good riddance. I yell at the sprite, you coward! <laughs> <laughs> uh... I will say, it's... It's right now about, um, how far does, it, does this thing move? About 30 feet away, um, directly out of the window. Okay, how far away am I from it? <laughs> um, how far away were you guys? Yeah, you guys, you guys were like a solid, like, um, 30, yeah, you guys were like a solid 30 feet something. Okay. To move over to the window. Okay. Probably closer. To, yeah, no, it's probably closer to forty. My diagram. Yeah. Okay. Probably forty feet to get up on the window. Oh, I can get up on the window. Yeah, I don't have climb. my fear anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna climb the window. Mm hmm. Uh, what would that be? Um, uh, athletics or acrobatics. Okay. There's there's there. bars there, so it's not that. Well, different. that was a four plus six, which is ten. Mhm. Mm you kind you kind of um, it's like your 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 starting off point is a bit um too too fast you get you get kind of up there but you're not really on the like um window sill you're just kind of like still on the bars trying to kind of trying to look look you can see it flying away um but you're you, you can you can see it but you're still kind of like awkwardly i think if you try to, to attack it now you would have this advantage <laughs> i'm gonna start shouting at it hey hey <laughs> hey you yeah yeah you get back here <laughs> you coward! <laughs> you coward! <laughs> you see it look back at you and just shout something back. You do not understand the language. Is it perhaps orc or primordial? It's neither of those, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, do any of you uh, speak Sylvan? Just for my reference. Whoop. Oh, you know what? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, of all people. Wow, I wasn't expecting that one. Actually, I have an extra language that I haven't claimed yet. <laughs> so. Man, I, I don't know. <laughs> no, uh, I'll, I'll make that. I don't know what character it's specific. said to me, but you know what? I'll take that hit with disadvantage. I'm angry. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so that was a six, and that is a ten. So, okay, so we've got, so, wait, 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 ah, oh, crap, wait, uh, no, shoot, what was that? That was six plus four, so that one was, like, okay, I think this is the one. <laughs> uh, so four plus six is ten total to hit. <laughs> what are you trying to hit it with? My dart. <laughs> I'm tossing it. The, yeah, the dart just flies past and just 
I keep I uh I keep yelling at it. Uh, slight change in my accent. I don't know if any of you guys picked <laughs> up on that. And as I start screaming out the window, hey, 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 you get back here! Fight me like a man! You hear? <laughs> and I think with that, with the um, you you you're now basically all of you left with this one boggle, which is still stuck to the ground. Um, we can, and it looks like absolute um, what whatever uh, an hour and it looks like absolute crap. Um. We think I think we can exit initiative at this point because it's not gonna. Um, yeah, it's not. Somebody it's not get actively... this toddler off of me. Uh, do you mind if I try and do a little bit of uh, precision work? I uh, yeah, do do whatever you want. All right, Just get it off. I'm it gonna hurts. It's pulling on my fur. I'm going to roll up my sleeves. Um, and I'm gonna try and like use the blade. Actually, do I have a dagger? I might. Um, I do not. So I'm going to use the blade of my uh, glaive. I'm gonna sort of like put it between my legs so that I can like move it the way that I want it and sort of like scrape it off. I'm, I'm using the blunt end of the glaive, not the sharp end, the false mm -hmm. edge. I'll, I'll use the false edge to sort of just like wedge it between and peel this thing off by it's like like at one leg at a time. And maybe stick its legs oh. to itself <laughs> so that it, it doesn't like just like fall back down back onto Igni. Um, and mm -hmm. if I can, like push it onto the floor next to Igni. Okay, so I think right now with with you can probably make me just enough again, again like an athletics acrobatic check just to see how that's going. To uh, but stick. it's I'll cast I'm guidance. To get away kind right of as you're doing it. <laughs> Very good. Um, doo -doo -doo. are you casting guidance? Yeah. Okay, what does that give me? You get an extra d4. <laughs> Um, oh, oh, that was just a one. So let's go. So it's, it's a fifteen total. Uh, the the boggle rolled uh, in that one in ah. its attempt to escape. Yeah. So it's basically just uh, like a toddler having a tantrum. That's what happens when your um, legs get glued to one another. Aww, yeah. it's almost so now you have... cute. Yeah, it's just it's just it continues. It's a uh, it's a uh, kind of. Half screeching, half yelling at you. Um, no recognizable words. And you hear um, you hear a knocking from outside, where the door is barricaded. Um, and one of the guards who spoke to earlier is just going, uh, "We we we heard someone fought. What the what what is going on?" Stray cat. There's a stray cat in here. We got it out. There's oh. a stray cat in there. I start meowing. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you guys start making cats out. Yeah, we're we're just trying to get it out the window. Um, so uh, all, all all good. Uh, that's definitely um. We can either do Igni doing performance or Al doing persuasion, and wh whichever one of you is doing it, advantage immediately, advantage and inspiration for Igni because. <laughs> <laughs> I already have inspiration, so oh, can I oh, can no. I pass this on to Al? Give Al. Hell yeah, Al, you get inspiration. You know what I, you know what I realize? I think I still have inspiration for threatening a man with his life. God, look at us, so inspired. <laughs> That's what we get points here in this in this group. Okay, do you want to roll? Should I roll? Uh, what's your charisma? My charisma. Great question. Is plus three. Yeah, you go ahead and roll. All right, disadvantage. Uh, that's gonna be a dirty twenty. Eh. <laughs> um. Oh. 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 Okay. Um. Let Let us know if you want someone to uh, to come get the cat later, so we can uh, get it someplace away from the factory. We're just yeah, gonna okay. wait outside. Great. Sounds good. Have a good 
have a good day. Your hair looks nice. I mean, I assume your voice sounds good. I'm is what I was good. Fuck. Okay, bye. Um. <laughs> um, is there a possibility I can get my spear off the ceiling? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, you don't need to make a check. It's just I'm just like a bit of trying <laughs> scaling <laughs> the wall. <laughs> Throwing like, like rocks uh, and bits of broken glass. At it. I'm kind of looking at this little boggle thing, just like, oh god, what what do what do we do with this poor thing? Do we like, kill it? Do we try and find someone that can understand what it's saying? Do we uh, harvest its organs for potential spell components and uh, weapon? Or do we leave it like a a wad of chewed up gum on the floor? Well, we can't do that. Discover. That's too cruel. Well, yeah. okay. I mean, what if we use it as, as like, um, bait? Because, like, maybe its friends are the ones who, like, messed up the factory. And then if we use it as bait, maybe its friends will come back, and then we can be like, get out of here, friends. I mean, enemies, you know? Based on how they perform performed earlier, I'm not sure they care much about each other. Two of them did run away. Um, and we got like a bag we could put this thing in. I do have an empty backpack. <laughs> if we stick this thing in there, a wheel backpack, yeah, friend. Here you, you... go. Hey, friend. can I get people with weapons like pick it up? Like, hold it. I'll, I'll hold try it. and stick. I'll try and stick it to the flat end of my glaive and peel and kick it off. Easy, easy. Yep. Oh, it's just like a. I somebody is. It's I, just like a very irritated ball. I need help. I can't get it off. It won't. I'm gonna like stick my hands on the inside of the bag, like picking up dog poop and like grab it and like. <laughs> get okay. Yep. Oh okay. Close it. Ooh, maybe if I stick a piece of broken glass to this, then I'll get bonus damage with my attacks. Never mind. And I, <laughs> I, I thought you meant stick um, a piece of broken glass to the the boggle and throw it. <laughs> <laughs> Sticky uh, grenade. <laughs> the backpack boggle. What one? If you're gonna name it, it's gonna have to have a B name, so the alliteration sticks. Bitch. Bitch. Name the boggle in the chat. Stop, we're still. We're like a poll. Your stream labs. Oh. Boggle Bing name. Bong. <laughs> Big bong. Big bong. Big bong. Big boggle. The back bag boggle. Bong riff. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to say that on the stream? I don't know. <laughs> Find out. Uh -huh. Your account has been terminated permanently. <laughs> okay. Hi, Bibby. Bobby, Bobby the Boggle. Bobby the Boggle. Bobbert. Um, Bobbert. I'm gonna kind of poke at the sack a little bit and see what happens. Mm -hmm. You hear it start to make its infuriated nose noises a bit louder. Hey. 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 Better not be it's making trying noise. To, like, it's trying to like catch you with its hand through the for the bag. <laughs> Poor thing. Is Art's legs like still kind of stuck to its body? Yeah. Oh man. It's, it's a, like, it's like an angry ball. It's like a Harry Potter character. What kind of weird oddities are we gonna collect during this campaign? We've stolen two horses. Now we've got a weird gushy fae creature in a bag. My question is, what the heck is a fey creature doing here? Uh, not only that, but two of them. They had those uh, little fairy spritey things, and, uh, you know, now we got this? I mean, what's that all about? Agreed. That's you a think they're question. the ones that were caught in the mess? Probably. I mean, they are mischievous little uh, tricksters. I mean, did anybody get a whiff of one? They said it was kind of stinky the last time. Also, I just want to say sorry for freaking out. I'm pretty sure it was not me. Sorry for hitting you, Thunder, and Monty, thank you for restraining me. You know, I believe that that might actually be a good... That might have actually helped us on our adventure quite well. 
Because I have a theory. Mm. Okay. A theory. Tell us about your theory, Richard. Here's my theory. If these creatures have the ability to make people angry and smash things up and smash each other and possibly smash bottles of perfume all over the ground. Now, for what reason would they have for doing this? No idea, other than entertainment, I guess, but there is a possibility that they came looking for entertainment and used their little spooky shell magic and made people go crazy or angry or made one person go really angry and break a bunch of stuff. And possibly along our quest, it will lead us to finding out that someone was responsible for breaking all of it, but really it wasn't them, it was the fake creatures that controlled their mind. I mean, there are um, missing people. They could easily have been tricked into fighting and then disappearing. True. That's very true. Someone um, could have sent the little creatures, too. If... True. Okay, so when I retrieve my weapon, would have, wouldn't that dead body of the pixie have fallen? So I'm gonna go back over there and scoop up the remains of the pixie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it's probably a good thing to keep this, right? May this might sound gross, but may I hold on to that? I can actually make some cool stuff with the uh, fey bodies, mostly the wings. I just need the wings. Oof. It's mostly the wings left. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry, sorry, little guy. And I, uh, I, I, you guys not, you guys aren't gonna want to watch this. I, I kind of well, grab onto the well, face of the wings. Well, what I was going to say is that we should probably just keep it in general. Because if we're going off this idea that these fey creatures are doing some weird magic, we'd be like, look, tiny dead pixie thing. We killed it in your factory. Fair enough. I, I believe it in my you have the bottle in the bag still. And presenting the wings, cool. I think, would work well as well. Hey, Monty, quick question. Um, do I don't know what, like, year you came from, but, like, are life debts a thing? Because I feel like I probably owe you one. Uh, like, I mean, it, I, I just didn't want you to hurt Sonder. I mean, you can be indebted to me if you want. I, okay. You owe him one? <laughs> I believe you owe me a life debt. Well, I didn't kill you. If I killed you, I would owe, like, your descendants oh, one. You almost but... broke my arm. Sorry! Look, it's so funny. Wait, wait, is there extra good tonight at the sleepover? Is there is there is there a gash in uh Saunders' clothes now? Absolutely <laughs> not. I, I I was bludgeoned, so Ah, true. <laughs> true, true, true. Mm. Yeah, how are you how are you feeling, Sonder? Not great, I will admit. Well, um I can help out with that i have been better i've been so much better um, I'm, I kinda, I'm often I... so much better than i am right now actually i'm in very much pain <laughs> i i reach out it to your arm and i cast cure wounds and mm. let's see um that is 10 10 hit points back that is wonderful mm. juice i feel sprightly and Invigorated, thank you. I'm still holding on to the spot after I held you. <laughs> Healed you. <laughs> hey guys, uh thank thank you, Monty. Oh, yeah, I, you're welcome. I am <laughs> so tired. And I, I I you know, I this is a, this is such a, a a mystery and I wanna also figure out what's up with this little guy, but I'm also really wanna do that sleepover. So <laughs> yeah, is there we a possible way I can get in bed soon? <laughs> yes. Let's go, let's go. This sounds um, wonderful. Before we leave, can I look for unbroken bottles of perfume around? Uh, sure. Make me an investigation check. I would also like to say once Igni pulled off the wings of the, the dead fairy, I probably would have stuffed the remaining dead fairy into my bag. <laughs> okay. Um, 14. <laughs> Yeah, it takes a bit of searching, but finally you manage to, um, under one of the tables, uh, there's a box that's uh, 
partly undisturbed and there's uh, uh, three bottles in there of, of uh, two of, of uh, the new brands uh, that Mr. Montgomery was quite excited about and one that seems to be a bit older. I'm gonna um, run over whenever Al sees that and so, oh, did you find one on Breaker? Yes, I did, but we should keep it as evidence, uh, right? I, I agree. It is um, this very expensive, nice new fragrance it would be wonderful um, for looking at later when performing our investigation. Don't you think? Yes, uh, invest investigating is the very, thing that we are going to do with it. I would also like to take a, one last look around the factory to see if we, if we can... Uh, look for if i can find anything that could be used for bracelet making or anything useful for a sleepover tonight <laughs> because oh, make me an investigation check too okay this is our beach episode <laughs> so good so hyped that's a two i found absolutely nothing <laughs> you're like wow this broken glass it would be great to make it's out of. <laughs> oh, I have plans for this broken glass that I have. <laughs> but that's for other reasons. Um, well, I, d I don't, I haven't found any, like, thread like I was hoping to find here. Or anything useful to make friendship bracelets. So I don't know how we're going to do that when all the shots are closed. Find stuff. We maybe we sh maybe we can bang on the door of the the general store. He'll, uh, he'll uh, let us in. We need to make friendships. That's a places. lyric. Bang on the door of the general store. I think mm, Hilda right. enjoys a good sleepover, don't you think? Haven't met her yet, but I know her name. <laughs> All right. Should we go? Um. Hand over this bottle in a bag to them to prove that there's stuff going on, or do we keep it under wraps? It is quite late, so maybe we could do it in the morning. But like the guards are right outside, do we just give it to them? Make them that deal with it? I don't know if I trust the guards entirely. Yeah. Maybe we go to Mr. Montgomery straight away. Is that thing gonna crawl out of that bag? You can watch it. You can let it join our sleepover. Yeah, it could be our little pet for the sleepover. I don't think- I don't know if it understands us, is the no, issue. It's, it's cool. I had a bunch of raccoons, wild raccoons as a kid. Um, so if I can deal with wild raccoons as pets, I can deal with one of these. Oh, all right then. With okay. all due respect, uh, wild raccoons don't really come from the fey wild. Yeah, but like- they're also tricky and, um, I don't know, they're, like, they have good comedic timing like the Boggle does, um, so I feel like they're one and the same. Alright, yeah, sure. Okay, Tell us cool. a joke, Backpack Boy. Let's do it. Exist for our amusement. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, All right, but he's so. sleeping in your room. Um, okay. so, I guess we're heading back to the end, right? <laughs> Or are we going to Mr. Montgomery? No, we're going back to the end. Yeah. Um, so if we're heading back, I would like to keep a lookout for like like flower boxes or anything. Mm-hmm. Uh and if I see any, um I will take only flowers if they are uh if there is more than one of them. Uh, because that would just be rude to take, like, a flower that's only one, mm -hmm. you know, clearly. But I'm gonna Straight just, the like, room. yeah, take, pick up some flowers <laughs> on the way. Yeah, there's definitely, like, flower boxes, those, um, on the windows, just on, like, uh, in, uh, boxes out front of houses. So you get a, a good variety of just uh, okay. common flowers. All right, cool. Can we try and stop by the general store and see if they're open? Just sure. possibly, maybe. Sure. Would that be on the way? 
Would we uh, run into the general store? <clears throat> Not not far off that you need to take a big detour. It's okay. at the at the uh, town square, so that's pretty close by. Okay. Um, actually, as you're as you're walking towards the general store, you see this kind of um, uh, late night carriage group coming in. It seems to be just like two, uh, just a couple and and um, some man who's traveling alone and a pretty uh, young kid in kind of tattered clothes. Who are coming from uh, where you came from, from the entrance to the town? Um, and this kid uh, looks at the five of you with interest, and he's just kind of scanning your group. Um, and after a bit of consideration, he he runs up to you, interrupting your way to the general store. Um, and Igni, he comes up to you, and he kind of starts starts like tugging on your shoulder, uh, on your uh, on your uh, sleeve. Says, uh, um, I, 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 excuse me, uh, hey, Mr. Man, Katzer. What's up? Yeah, how you doing? Are Are you by any chance, Mr. And he uh pulls out this kind of like scrap paper he has on his Igni. Yeah, no, that's me. Okay, I have a message for you. Oh. And he pulls out what looks to be a sealed uh letter, and um shows it to you. Take it, and I kind of uh, thank. <laughs> he him takes the hand back and just like pulls out another hand. I put my hand out, and then I hold out my other hand, and I whoosh, extract my claws. Aye. Well, tipping is considered nice, and he hands you the letter. Thanks. Run along. Is this does this happen by us? Yeah, we're sending by. I'll I'll drop the small person three copper because that's all I've really got on me right now. Hey, hey kid, wait, 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 come back, come back, come back. If you want to learn yes. something about uh, money, the best way to get money, deal it. All right. Anyways, and I I <laughs> take my claw and I like kind of cut into the letter like a letter opener, and then I open it up and I read it. Do you often have okay. young children running up to you and delivering you letters in the street? I do not. This is a first. Hmm. Who is it from? Uh, we will find out momentarily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold I, on. I, I got I, it. I, I'm... I, yeah, I sent it to you. <laughs> oh, okay. Secret, secret, secret. Secret, secret, secret. I don't know if you heard the me, kids. but yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know if you heard me, but I did drop that kid three copper mm -hmm. pieces. Yeah, he's kind of counting through them, and then he just kind of he's like still standing nearby, and he kind of like makes his way to the other three, and he just kind of like. <laughs> oh, do you have a do you have a letter for me? No, but I can deliver one for you if you want, sir. No one's written. Wonderful. Um... How much? Wait, how much does it cost to deliver a letter? Depends how far the letter's going. Hmm. I don't know exactly where she would be at right now. <laughs> Wait. Do you... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Do you del um, deliver to the capital city, or does anybody deliver? I could sure get to the capital city. It's a bit far away, but I can get there. Okay, um, can I, like, tell the kid the inn we're staying in and ask them to meet me tomorrow morning there? Like, I don't have a letter right now, but if you come here, I would, I have, I'll have a let and a package, like a letter and a package for you. Is that cool? Okay. okay. Uh, if you want to be a good support to my business, you can sponsor me a room at the end, and then you don't have to worry about me coming back or not. Kid, who the hell gave this to you? Uh, I don't know. It was just left. I mean, I got a friend who who got it to me who collects all my letters, so I could ask him later. You do that. Okay. I him, if I do have to go. Piece. I'll flick him a silver piece. He catches it and puts it in his pocket. It might take me a while because I have to go to the capital city first, but uh, 
I guess I'll, I'll see you in the morning, ma'am. Okay. And he skips off. I'll see you in a week and a half, Igni. <laughs> well, yeah, if I'm even going to be here for a week and a half, which, judging by this letter, probably not. Well, is, is it like a bad thing? Well, it's some private stuff, but oh. what you guys need to know is that I either have to go north or I have to go east. Like, just in general, any particular? Uh, I say I either have to go north to a town called Burgess or east to an unnamed town. My vote is you stay away from Burgess with your life. <laughs> Bad place? Well, I'm not particularly fond. Why is that? Right. Uh, people, connections, past experience. The worst. Well, uh, I might have to. Uh, reasons. If you want to yeah. avoid narcissistic assholes, then you should maybe avoid Burgess. Yeah, I do, but this is uh, it's important. So uh, there's something I gotta take care of. Um, where are you guys headed, by the way? I just realized we've only known each other for a day. I really don't know anything about you guys. Well, I'm oh. headed off to the general store to try and find yarn to make friendship bracelets, and I think this would be a wonderful discussion I... topic once we get back to our rooms. We well, can play like two truths and a lie or we, something. We, we can walk and talk. We, you know, we can multitask. Under the so let's of walk candles. and talk. I can curl up in my bed while you sit on the floor. <laughs> but, um, I will also just... Um, I don't have a particular place that I'm going. And to be honest, if I were to tell you where I don't want to go, I don't remember the city all that well, so it's fine. <laughs> and I don't have a place either. I'm just looking for my destiny. Don't know where that is, so... Hopefully I'll stumble across it one day. Or tomorrow. That would be great. Did you know that my birthday's coming up? In, Your birthday's coming up? In like a month and a half, but it's still soon. Oh. <laughs> What's a birthday? <gasps> what? Vizdor, you've never had a birthday? No, I don't. What's a birthday? It is like whenever you... So you were born, you were created on a day, correct? And then after a year, you celebrate your creation on the same day of the next year. And you do that every year until you eventually perish. Yeah. Oof. I don't think I've ever had that. I've had a coming of age day. But that only happens once in your lifetime Ooh, in my outside. tribe. Okay. And normally that's only when you get set off to go do your own thing. Everybody which I did that long ago. Everybody has How a birthday. How old are you guys? I'm... Well, um... You know, it's quite rude to ask for somebody's age. <laughs> Well, sorry, we were just on the topic of birthdays, and I was thinking I'd ask. Well, you know, I know you didn't mean it <laughs> in an harmful way, but you were looking at a young half-elf at the age of 63. <laughs> I look pretty young for my age, don't I? <laughs> Shouldn't you be in school, young lady? Nice uh, one. <laughs> you actually, <laughs> actually, um, currently, I mean, technically, again, we didn't have this thing that you guys keep referring to at school, but we did have like training, and currently, I guess if you say that I have a mission of sort, that's currently what I'm trying to do, and basically what I've been trying to do for the last like thirty years. Is go to school. No, uh, kind of. Okay, 
it's like I was set off to find my own path and then return home with a story, yeah? And hopefully by then, then um, I will be able to share that story and my master will deem that I am worthy of being to follow under him and perhaps maybe in the future be a master myself. That's awesome, dude. How, so, that's, that's so wonderful. Yes. So that's currently what I'm doing. However, I think all I've really done is gotten myself into a lot of trouble. So... Well, trouble <laughs> does lead to a good story. Yeah. Uh, Dreaders, it seems that we have incredibly similar goals. Um, I myself am seeking adventure and a good story as well. Uh, I, it's not a requirement of me. I just wanted to get out of the house a little bit, you know. <laughs> um, but a, a, a good story is always something I've been wanting to have for myself. So maybe we can craft one together. That would be exciting. Oh, <laughs> little hair flip. <laughs> Wait, Monty, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I just turned 20 not too long ago. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Um, happy birthday. Thanks, it was like three weeks ago. <laughs> that was so soon ago. Happy birthday, like double, triple. Happy birthday for every week it's been. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, <laughs> you're scary when you're fighting, but you're actually pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks. Monty, I, I never expected you to be older than I was. Sorry, is that rude to say? Do I look old? <laughs> I just like have bags under my eyes and so much facial hair for a 20 year old. You, you've got the the working hands of in a fine craftsman, but 20, I will just say I was not pegging 20. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> sure. It's a good thing. It's a compliment. It's wonderful. Yeah, I kind of aged quickly, it seems like. I was like 6'2", which is how tall I am at the age of like 15. Yeah. Except I was a lot gawkier back then. I was a string bean. I have no idea. I've, I've never been like that. I am the epitome of good form and fitness. That's not true. Um, <laughs> that this is a lie. I failed my deception check on this and you can all tell. <laughs> Monty chooses not to say anything. <laughs> um, have we arrived at the general? Yeah, store? have we <laughs> arrived at the general? Yeah, store? yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely by now we've arrived. The general store. Where did it come from? The are the lights on? <laughs> the lights are off. Um, I'm banging on the door, anyways. <laughs> okay, it takes you a bit, but after a bit of banging on the door. You do hear um, uh, this uh, lady's voice. She just goes, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna open up. Stop banging on the damn door. My, uh, apologies, many apologies. Uh, it seems you've locked the front door to your, sto to your shop. I'm yelling this, like, through the <laughs> window, through the door, both. Hmm. Um... You see this, um, as, as the door is open, you see this older dwarven woman, um, kind of wrapped in a nightgown, just, just opens her face. Oh, oh, there's a lot of you. Last time someone opened, asked me to open up the store at this hour, it was either someone giving birth or someone trying to burn the place down. Ah, well, we are in search of friendship bracelets. Material. <laughs> We already gave birth, and I hold up the sack and, like, the squirming little buckle. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, no, it's a, it's you... a, no, 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 it's a pet, it's my cat, it's, we're just, like, you... 
taking care of it. Your cat's oh. leaking a little bit through the bag. Oh yeah, no, it's uh, we're doing oil therapy. It's just a, uh, it's it's supposed to kind of get, it's supposed to make the cat nice, feel nice and healthy. He's got um, dandruff. Yeah, yeah, oh. but it, it'll, it's good for the cat. Trust. He's sick. He's sick. He's uh, yeah, he's got the, uh, he's got terminal. You want to, like, string or something? Like, string? In different colors. I have a list. And you have a... Well, good for you. Okay, come inside. Okay. Uh, for I'm... context, when you're buying at this hour, the prices are doubled. Oh. It's just okay. the cost of doing business. Okay, but before that, I kind of lead over to Al and be like, Hey, hey, would you, would you mind spotting me for... A certain item, if she has it. Um, if I have enough, yeah, that'd be cool. Also, okay. I, um, did you tell me what color you wanted for your friendship bracelet? Because I don't remember. Oh, I think I told you to surprise me. That's um, right. Okay, I picked one out, but then I, but I put a question mark by it in my notes on my hand, <laughs> so I didn't remember. But okay. Okay. Um. Well, okay. So the item in question is a uh, painter supplies. I kind of ran out the last time that I was uh, adventuring. <laughs> yeah, if you ask for it, I'll I'll pay for it if they have it. No problem. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you know, I would have had enough if I didn't spend my ten gold on a horse. <laughs> Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, so Hilda... the colors, the colors we need. Hilda leads you over, yeah. To the she's just you just keep starting to talk and she just keeps going. Ah. Okay. But see, it'd be Come... really nice if we could. Ah. Just... Okay. I am tired. You are not gonna interrupt me if you're talking, young lady. Now. What the hell did you say to her? Please don't raise your voice. It is a. It is a. I the store is the store is the store is closed. The store is closed, but it's open now for you. And she brings oh. out this big <laughs> box from behind the counter and sets it down. And um, it's a bunch of different strings and and twines and such as some materials. It's probably meant more for uh, seamstresses. Uh, but there is a pretty uh, large array. She's okay. okay. What colors do you want? Okay, so I need orange, blue, pink, green, and purple. <laughs> okay. Say that again, but you say it a bit slower. Orange. Orange. Blue. Blue. Pink. Pink. Green. Green. And purple. Like me. Purple. Uh, like, okay. The purple, the purple and the blue are extra, um, because they're the more expensive colors. Fair. But we do have all of these, so. <clears throat> oh, and um, Drez, what did you want? One uh, more thing. Question: Do you have any painter's supplies? Um. Yeah, yeah. I should in the back. Okay. And how much would that be? <laughs> um. You want a, a a full set or um... a full set would be very lovely, but uh, I suppose what is the difference between half a set or a full set? <laughs> um, half a set. We can do more of like a kids' supplies that will run you about five gold. Full set is for uh, full painters. Um. You know, making uh, portraits and oil pieces it has a has an easel. Um, that's ten gold pieces. Okay. All right. I promise I will spot you back for that ten gold. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, um, I, got it. I will do the full set. Um, another random question: Do you have any clay by any chance? Clay. Yes. Um, pro probably some clay I can find. And how much uh, would that be? Um, probably enough to make, like, a vase. 
And how much would that be, <laughs> price wise? Price wise, um, well, it's not it's not super fine quality, so uh, eight copper. Okay, I'll take that as well. That I can afford. <laughs> Alright, I will pay up for the... Now, um... So that would be, uh... For the twine, that would be a 5 plus 2, so that's 7. Um, and let's say for the cost of waking me up in the middle of the night, we're gonna bump that up to, uh... To 14. So, um... 14 copper, or 1 silver, 4 copper. I've already put my 8 copper for the clay. And get out the rest. Here you go. Just for you. Thank you very much. Sorry now, for waking are... you up. Sorry for interrupting you. Sorry. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna stop talking now. It's good. You you seem a bit stressed. Is everything okay? Oh, no, everything's really good. This is just kind of how I am all the time. Oh. Oh, so sorry about that one. It's fine. I get, uh, I'm so, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I'm gonna leave now. Okay, honey, 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 honey. Okay. Yeah. Um, Bye. I'm not gonna do this now. But how about you come back here after I open again and we have each each other a little talk? Okay. Like, 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 like girl chat. Yeah, like girl chat. All right. And you can come and be a supporting customer too, okay? Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, that sounds really good. <clears throat> that sounds really good. Yeah, I would love that. Ten out of ten. Okay. Write uh, that on her hand. Girl talk. Anybody Girl see talk. Uh, John Mulaney's sack lunch punch? <laughs> Girl talk with Richard Kern. <laughs> um, did all of that also include the painter's supplies? Uh, what included what? Uh, all of what she said include the painter supplies as well. <laughs> I think the painter supplies she's letting you pay normal price because okay, it's ten, okay. ten gold pieces. She's not gonna okay. make you give her another ten gold pieces. Bless. Um, and I think with with that, Hilda uh, kind of just pushes you basically out of the store and closes the door behind, and you are headed on your way to the best sleepover in the known land. And we're gonna take a break before that happens. Sleepover time. <laughs> so exciting. So, exciting. so much sleep over. Is about to be done. Very exciting. Very all right. exciting. We will see you all in, let's say, at 1 p.m. Wow, I feel like I'm putting us on break on a Zoom class right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We will be back in 10 short minutes for the sleepover. Okay. Tell you what a kilogram is. Hello, everybody. Sorry about it being a minute late. We were trying to figure out the difference between pounds and kilograms. Um, <laughs> Hello. A, a kilogram very... is two point two pounds. Nice. <laughs> there there we go. The little moment of Spencer trying to figure out how much clay they have, and Gamma having no idea how much a pound of clay is. I thought it was British currency. <laughs> 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 That's understandable. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I guess we're heading back to the tavern, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sleepover time. Where are we all? Are we all converting into me and Al's room? Is that the plan? Uh, my room's probably the right biggest now? because I have yes, oh, yeah. only yeah. one bed. Okay. Well, if we do that, I'm gonna stop in me and Al's room real quick. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm gonna retrieve my three holy symbols that I left on the bed, <laughs> and then I'll join everybody else. I will. Uh, you know what? No, I'm gonna pause and glance at the drawer that mm -hmm. I put that blank mask in. I don't to stare at it, and then I'll leave. I'll leave it in the drawer. But <laughs> what does it mean? What does it mean? Welcome, everyone, to my room. 
Um, as you can see here, we have a wonderful view of the town square and my wonderful fluffy bed that none of you are allowed to sit on because cleanliness is in order in this yes. room. We should wait. We should have looked for like a bathhouse to see if there's a bathhouse around here. Yeah. That would have been fun. Maybe next I time. I haven't had a bath in a very long time. <laughs> I'm actually gonna Do go down and ask the innkeeper if there's like a bathhouse in town, or if there's like small baths in the inn, or something like that. Odd. That's a great idea. I think at this point, when you came in, the innkeeper is probably asleep. Is there anyone manning the bar? <laughs> um, you know, not right now, but there is just one person, um, just hanging out, uh, by the uh, by one of the the chairs, just kind of um, like playing solitaire or something. Uh, hey, buddy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, is, is do you know if there are like there are like baths here? If there's a bathhouse anywhere in town? Uh, there's, uh, one around the, the edge of town. Um, it's pretty small. It's a bit, of ma manual work, but it's, it's there. Alright, cool. If you Thanks. want to use it. I relay the information Cheers. to the cool, party. Cool. Uh, that person sitting downstairs, it's, it's not mm -hmm. one of the people that tried to rob us, right? <laughs> no. They are, um... <laughs> No, you ha you haven't seen them before. They are uh, a halfling, a pretty young halfling. We could uh, transfer the sleepover temporarily to a hot tub party, and then we can come back and do the friendship bracelets. <laughs> well, do you um, think they'd even be like open? I mean, it's late; even the bar's closed. That is breaking true. time. But it is a bathhouse, so you know they might have like special things for late night stuff. I don't know. I don't know how any of this works. <laughs> I mean, I just had like a bath in my room, so I don't know how a bath house works. I've never been to an oh. open at night. Oh, you, okay. So, you people call them bath houses. Where we're from, it's just kind of like a big hot spring type thing. And it's mm. normally like, it's a public thing, so like ladies go into their corner and men go into theirs. Very confusing for me because people don't know what I am. But, <laughs> um, but so, uh, then you take off all your gear. They give you like a robe or like a towel so that you you can stay decent if you want, or you can be naked for all everybody cares. Um, and then you go into these little doors, and then it's like a big, big nature, uh, uh, like, hot spring that you can sit in. You can keep your towel on if you want, uh, or, again, you can just be, like, full or naked. Nobody cares. Nobody's there to judge you. <laughs> wow. It's yeah, very just, relaxing. I just, like, had to tell people I wanted a bath, and then there would, like, be a bath ready. Um, so I'm a little new at it, but, uh... I had a similar experience, and as thrilling as that public bath sounds, I don't think that it's for me. Um, I well, also we... don't think I need, to necessarily need one, I'm looking pretty fresh myself. Well, well, Richard, it's a very special, like, bonding activity with new friends that you can do, because it's like, you're trusting people <laughs> and you're like you know it, it's like it's like sort of like a skinship thing <laughs> it, it can be oh, very oh, oh, what <laughs> oh what <laughs> just George doesn't know what the frick he's saying he's dumb as hell <laughs> <laughs> um anyway <laughs> but like like it, it it could be a very good <laughs> bonding activity. Um, you know, I used to do it a lot back home. With, well, as much uh, as I value our skinship, um, <laughs> I do believe I don't need one, and I will just sit back and watch unless you think that that is even worse. Well, um, 
I don't know if they'll let you in with your clothes on. Oh, I can dip my feet in. I'll sit on the edge and dip my feet in a little bit. And you can sit around the, the hot tub and chat. Okay, so idea, and you, you can all say no if you don't like it. It's, I'm just throwing it out there. No pressure. I don't want to, like, force you all into anything. It's just an idea. Um, what if we did the slumber party now in here, because I'm really excited about it, and then tomorrow before going to see the Montgomery guy, then we could go and have, like, a, a continuation where we, like, get all pretty at the, at the hot springs or the Ooh. bath, whatever it is, and then that's when that happens. Again, I you would don't love have to that. Say, okay, you want to do it? Oh, great. I, I'd love that. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right, um, well, sleepover <laughs> time. Um, I don't, how do we, how do you do... start a sleepover? Is there a ritual to begin the sleepover? Well, first we all get comfortable, so I'm gonna start removing, like, my paper mache pieces off my person. Everybody put on your pajamas! I <laughs> only okay. have- I only have two sets of clothes, this one in a slightly fancier set. I only own what I'm wearing and my sack. Same. <laughs> I don't have any clothes. Oh, well, I will take I'm... off my shoes and my- weapon and my corset and I'll sit on the bed with a, a pillow um, in my arms. Al leaves I'm... and when she comes back she's in like a full Victorian nightgown. <laughs> like uh, with the ruffles and everything. Drez is probably just in his little shorts that he wears under his like deep V dress thing and all of his jewelry is removed and his hair is down and yeah it's pretty long. He's got layers. It's very nice. He has taken off his half plate armor, which he has on, if you guys didn't know. Um, and he's just wearing a like dirty tank top and like boxer shorts and then um, socks with holes in them. <laughs> <laughs> his big toes are sticking out. I'm gonna have to like fix you guys' clothing sometime. <laughs> I'm gonna have to learn press digitation. <laughs> Um, so do I have, like, a bundle of flowers? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh, then I'm gonna sit on the floor, and I'll be like, well, if anyone wants their hair braided, I can braid your hair. <laughs> Alright, sit down. Okay. Also, I, like, take out and I hand everybody their Colors of Friendship bracelet. Um... Drez, I got you purple. I hope that's okay. And then, oh. Oh, um, so Igni gets orange, Monty gets blue, Sondor gets pink, and Al has green. I'm like, okay, and then you can, like, switch them around, and then, like, somebody will make yours, and then give it back to you. I read that in a book once. That's, that's how you do it. Oh. I've never done this before. Cute. Very nice. Cute. I like it. Okay. okay immediately put mine on. <laughs> so, is um. we, who's going to make mine? Any volunteers? I'll make it! <laughs> Grab it out of your hand. Okay. Al, I, I would will... like to request to make yours. I guess I will make Igni's after I've done uh, braiding Al's hair, which I have like my disguise kit, which has all of my beauty supplies in it. <laughs> now I'm just going to start combing out Al's hair very gently. Monty. Gotta keep track. Saunders and she. So then, Al will make Monty, and then Igni makes Drez, or Igni makes Monty's. Uh, then we're good. I don't. I don't. I don't really know how to how to make um, friendship bracelets. I uh, I work more with uh, metal. Then, um, you just like cloth. You, it's really easy. You can just like kind of braid it together, or like make this little like four shape, and then like pull it up. And it's then... a lot easier than forging metal, I will say. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sh okay. Sure. Uh, okay. And then I kind of pull. I reach into my sack and I pull out a flask. 
like a long swig. I'm like, all right, let's do this. You could also mm-hmm. probably, if you wanted, just tie the three, the ends together, and then uh, tie the other ends together, and then it's like like a loose thing. Like it'll be like three bands, and they're tied at one point, and then that that would be really easy. You don't have to do any braiding if you don't know how. Or you can make it fancy like mine, and I hold mine up, and it's already like super like intricate and stuff, and it's got it. You know the. Um, I would show you, but actually, wait, hold on. Give me a moment. For context, while this is happening, the backpack boggle is just kind of, <laughs> I guess, in the corner in his bag, just going. Meh, 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 meh. Hey, hey. I kind of want to let him out. Kind of want to. Kind of want to. Kind of want to be friends with him. Mine, the one I'm making for Al is sort of like this. It's really hard to see, but it's like, imagine it's like this, but all one color. And so it's like super flat and it's braided together like really thickly and it's fancy and nice looking. This is my anklet that fell off earlier this semester. Rip. <laughs> Not that anklet. Okay. So... Currently, I'm not making a friendship bracelet. I am currently braiding Al's hair into very intricate braids. Uh, I start making, like... So I I leave a couple strands in the front, but then I start uh, braiding, like, sort of a a braided crown type thing around the back. And then uh, I take two sections here and make like a twisty to then add to those two braids so that uh it has something to anchor to and then I start braiding down the or connecting those into one giant braid uh down the back uh very delicate there is a soft smile on Drez's face uh and while he's doing this he's also adding flowers in that he collected along the way um you definitely have to pull out like leaves and twigs and like deal with some tangles it's like very oh, he's, he's uh he's he's that's totally fine <laughs> um i'm going to extend my ankle out to Monty and say, um, if you wouldn't mind, you can just go ahead and tie it right on, and I'll pull my sock down, um, okay. and like put my put my leg up on. Are you, how are you sitting or standing or what? Um, I'm like crisscross applesauce, like right in front of you. So <laughs> okay, I'm gonna like put my leg up on your knee so that you can okay. just sort of like reach over and tie it directly to my ankle. Okay. It's, so this it's... is the one I made you, right? Yes. It, it is, okay, it's much harder to get around your, your foot than it is a hand, so I figured this right. would push right on. Okay. It's, like, really cute and, like, diamond shapes, and I worked really, really hard on it, and um, I also <laughs> casted Blessing of the Forge on it, so you get a plus one to your AC just for tonight, but just for tonight. <laughs> so We gotta have another <laughs> yeah. combat. We gotta have another <laughs> combat just to use that. And to you, it just feels control. like a little warm, you know? It's just a little warm and tingly. <laughs> you just put it on your ankle. <laughs> um, I, you go. <laughs> I, I go, at Monty, I think I finished mine, and I very obviously hold up a piece of scrap metal that I forged into a circle. <laughs> uh, th- yeah. Thanks. Oh, Is it just wow. like, a, what, ha- like what happened to the cloth? That's crazy. It's magic, Whoa. you know? <laughs> kind of... Kind of hand it to Monty. Friendship uh, angles. Friendship angles. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Uncomfortable. It's yeah. Not a good feeling. Okay, so um, next, I know that like we talk about. Well, not. I mean, we could. It's not again. It's not a rule. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. But like at sleepovers, people like talk about like who they like. Or, you know, like, tell spooky stories. Is this what rich people do? Well, uh, no, because I've never done this before. I mean, not that I'm, like, super... I mean, I was rich. I mean, yeah, no. I mean, not exclusively. 
<laughs> well, what do you do at your sleepover this evening? Uh, I've never had a sleepover. I just kind of drink until I pass out. <laughs> That's valid. Um, so, uh, once I finish Al's hair, I kind of just, like, lightly stands it again, and I'm like, there you go, dear, and I will pull, like, a small mirror out of, uh, my disguise kit to show her. Mm. It's so great. Al fully starts crying. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> uh, uh, you've got very lovely hair. Uh, thank you. Uh, if you, anyone ever wants their hair to be braided, I could definitely work on any sort of style. Um, I used to do this a lot back home. <laughs> Can you do something about this rat's nest that I have? Yeah, sure thing. <laughs> so then I will move over. This is just turned into Dresden's beauty salon. Yeah. I, I start working on, on Monty's hair. <laughs> Brushing it out very gently. Oh, oh it's so knotted. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm very, very careful <laughs> trying to be. But also, just once in a while, there is like a yank, and I'm like, oh, sorry. That's good. You're fine. <laughs> um, question for you. Yes, I don't think you've said how old you are, if you don't mind sharing. I just feel like we're all going around and doing it earlier. So if you want to share, you can. I'm 24. Cool. Ah, so I am the oldest of the party. <laughs> I am the old man here. Cool, cool. <laughs> I suggest we play a game. And you had one in mind that you kept talking about that I've never heard of it before in my life. True truth and a lie. Why? Okay, mm, so I, oh, I have to remember the rules because I've only read about them. Okay. Um, but... Basically, you tell two truths and one lie about yourself, mm. and then everybody guesses what it is. And then it's like a fun thing because, like, you don't know. And I think it'll be really fun because, like, we don't know each other super well, but like, we're gonna become best friends. Obviously, I mean, you don't have to be my best friend, but like, it'd be cool. Um, but I just think it'd be like a cool thing that we can maybe all do together. So, but, great. Wanna... I, I can start. <gasps> okay. Um. <clears throat> Two truths and one lie. Let's see. One truth would be that I have black hair. Um, another truth would be that I come from nobility and one of the lies would be that yep. I... You're not supposed to say which is the lie. We're supposed to guess. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay, um, You're well... like, here are three things that are true about me, but one of them isn't true. And then we all have to figure out what it is. Oh, dear. Well, well then let me start over. Um, okay. Al, you're not allowed to guess on this one because I know you'll know the answer. Okay. One truth. So I'll, th I'll give you three truths. <laughs> but one of them would secretly be a lie. I have three siblings. I never left my house as a child and I've never seen the ocean. <laughs> now you guess, correct? You all have to guess. Okay, Wait, we'll, go around the... one, we'll go around one by one, and you tell me which one you think is the lie. What was I'll the reveal. first one? I, I have three siblings. I have three siblings. Oh, oh, okay, there was a part in between that. I have three okay. siblings. I've never, I never left my house as a child, and I've never seen the ocean. All right. We'll, s <laughs> we'll end with Al. Uh, Monty, which one do you think is the lie? Um, I'm going to guess the lie is you've never seen the ocean. Okay, wonderful. Dresdor. Uh, well, I, 
you have mentioned that you are a grand adventurer. So I'm gonna guess it's the three siblings. All right. Igni, which one do you think is the lie? One second. And I'm actually gonna get up and I'm gonna leave the room. Are you are you are you okay? Be right back. Okay. Well, well be thinking about your truths and a lie when you're gone. I Thank will. Thank you. Right. Well, that's interesting. Anyways, Al. Lady Alicia. Um the ocean. Shall I reveal which one was the lie? Yes. The lie was that I've never seen the ocean. Woohoo! Wonderful! <laughs> Two points for you. <laughs> Two points for yeah. you. That's what, they say, that's what they say in true or false quizzes, is that <laughs> if there's ever like a question that's like, uh, this thing is never this, or this thing is not <laughs> this, it's always false. <laughs> um, can I go da back down to the bar? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. And you said the only person down there is that guy playing solitaire? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to look at him and I'm going to go, uh, if you see the owner of this place, tell him I'll pay him back tomorrow. And I'm going to go behind the bar and I'm going to start looking for shot glasses and a bottle of whiskey. Yeah, there's uh, what looks to be a bottle of whiskey that's um, half, half empty by now. Um, seemingly was used today, and there are shot glasses right there, sparkly clean. Nice. Grab them, grab the whiskey, walk on back upstairs. And okay. I open up the door. And I <laughs> plop them down. Oh, good. Yes, this is good. Interesting. You, what, you brought that for all of us? Ooh, are we drinking? I love drinking. <laughs> okay. Five Never had a drink before, Sonder? Um, sure. I believe so. <laughs> casually and for... Uh, casually and socially, but never... Um, when lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Igni, Igni. Which one did you think was my lie? Oh, uh, that you have three siblings. Wrong! I do have three ah, siblings. I... I've never seen the ocean. I have seen the ocean before. Plenty What's of times. Like? Um, blue and large and wet and salty and full of friends and full of enemies and connects us from one place to another and looks really pretty and brings on lots of wind, uh, gets pulled around by the moon. Sometimes it has waves, sometimes it doesn't. It steams in the morning, all of those things. Wow. Uh, 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 cool. Yeah. All right, nice. If you can uh, I have a drink and then I, I want to try. I want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm reading this label, though. It says, Danger. This is Dwarven Firebrand Whiskey. Uh, we'll put you on your ass. I'm paraphrasing, of course. but <laughs> That sounds perfect for me. Bring it over. All right, and I kind of pour her a shot glass. And it's a her. Take one too. Shot glass, let's do some shots. Let's do it. Oh, me. Me. As, right. I, as I'm putting the finishing touches on Monty's hair. Yes, what does it look like? <laughs> so I have it uh, fully pulled back to three separate braids down the front. That kind of... You don't have, like, you have length, but because it's, like, a curly mess, it looks a lot shorter than it's supposed to be. But you have, like, what is, like, little poofs that each end. And then you have, uh, so, and then the sides are just kind of pulled slickly with some product back. Uh, and then there are some smaller decorative flowers also within the braids. Thank you. Like, oh, this has reminded me of times I spent with my mother. This is very exciting. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, we all do our shorts. <laughs> uh, Dresdor, it is, we'll say it's your turn for two truths Wait. and one lie. I thought I was going next. 
I mean, if you want to skip me, that's fine. Oh, uh, no, I'm, I, I'm so sorry. I was not paying attention. This is my bad. I was very much distracted by the large bottle of alcohol right next to my face. Okay, can, but can we drink it? Can we hurry, 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 please? Yes. Ready? Okay. All right, let me I'm sit down for this one. Ready? One, two, two. three. <laughs> I uh I cough a little as I haven't had it I think super hard in quite a while. How do you just do that all the time? I find oh. it quite awful. Ew. Oh. This is not. This is not. I thought it was really good, actually. <laughs> I mean, I kind, I kind of, uh, I, I, I kind of enjoy the burn a little. Just, it's been a while. Can you pour me another one, and then while I go? Okay. <clears throat> oh, Are no. you ready? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Here's my three totally true truths. Um, one, um, I used to be a bartender. Two, I used to be a vigilante, and three, I used to be an actor. Which one was I not? What was you were the never first a bartender. one? Oh, the, okay. You were never a bartender ever. Do you want to know how I know? Uh, because you told me that when we, when I was doing the whole horse peanut butter thing, that you told me that you con charities uh, out of uh, or you con people out of money and then give it to charities. So that would mean that you are an actor. And what was the second one? A vigilante bartender or actor. Which oh yeah, and uh, I guess I feel like you're more of a vigilante if that's your uh, if that's your way of thinking. I think that you only looked at the whiskey bottle and said you're a bartender. <laughs> I believe I believe that you were not a vigilante. I think that you use your bartending experience to find these rich people and con them while they were in their weakest form. <laughs> Which is quite mm. evil, I must say. But also very smart and wonderful. I admire you for it. Um, Igni makes a good point. So I'm going to say that you're not a bartender. And I'm going to start working on Igni's friendship bracelet as I've been braiding everybody's hair at this point. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to follow suit and say I don't think you were a bartender. And should I reveal it? Yes. I was never an actor. I was a bartender. Oh. I was a bartender, and I fought in the fighting pit in the inn, and I was a vigilante, but that didn't really turn out well because I got in trouble from my parents. But <laughs> I conned people because I would just be like, oh, so here's the thing. So, like, it, apparently some people have things called egos, and those can be really fragile. Mm. And so then at, like, parties with, like, all the other rich nobles, I would just, like get into their ego and i'd be like oh you're only giving like 250 platinum to you know the orphanage well i hear that that you know your rival is giving 300 and it'd be a shame if they found out and then they would give more money to charity 250 what platinum yeah, yeah. they were nobles so they had it that's quite a not really much of a significant donation if you think about it yeah, there that's were, not. That's so much money. So much money. <laughs> you know, Al, I feel like you should definitely do that if we plan on traveling together, but make it more easy for us to gain money in our pocket. Some of it has to go to charity. I stand by that. That's that's like a no go. But some of it we can keep. But some of it has to go to charity because there are people worse off than us. And I left home to like help people, so if I didn't do that, then like what am I even doing? But yeah, I would I could con some people for you, maybe. Kind of point to my greasy stained tank top and my dirty pants and my dirt covered boots and my sack, and I say, really, are there worse people do it? Are the people doing worse off than I am? I wiggle my toes that have the the socks with the holes in them as well. <laughs> Super That's sure about that. Well, that's why I said we could keep some of it instead of giving it all away, okay? Give me a break. How about we donate to the charity of Igni and Marty? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you oh. need new socks, we could have picked up new socks in the, the general store from Hilda. Oh, yeah. By the way, don't we have money to dish out? 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's a hundred gold to split between the five of us. <laughs> Forgot to mention that. I just wanted to hold on to it for a little what? bit longer. <laughs> Where the hell did you find a hundred gold? It's Mr. Montgomery. Um, I owe it's ten a, of that to Al. So, I have I owe ten of that to Al. So whatever my split is, just put that ten towards Al. Everyone should get 20, so Al will get 30 and you'll get 10. Perfect. Oh, hell yeah. Refilling my supply, I see. Oh my god, I'm hell rich! Yeah. I'm begging. Cool, cool. Alright. I can buy a horse. I can buy two horses, according to dress door <laughs> standards. <laughs> um... I suppose I will go next, as I am thinking really hard of what to reveal to you people. I'm like, um, all right, uh, one, I know very little of my father, two, I spent a long period of time um, traveling across the ocean to get to a place, and three... I... Hmm... I... Oh, jeez, I have to think! Hmm... <laughs> I am Oh, oh, I have the perfect. <laughs> uh I have to hold on, hold on. I gotta look up. Sandra's just gonna take another shot during the silence. <laughs> Monty oh, also yeah, takes another <laughs> shot. <laughs> <laughs> yep, please. Everyone just Go taking ahead. a second shot, just like also just make constitution saving throw to see how absolutely hammered you're getting. On this extremely strong whiskey. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> hey! Uh, I rolled a 1. <laughs> no, Igni. I got a 15. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. I got 16. So, okay. So, Al is doing, like, amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, You are, like, you you're s doing so good with the alcohol. You also have, like, that bit of your brain that's going, like, you know, remember that ev to, to make everyone, like, drink water, like, mm -hmm. smart mom friend. The yep. two of you also doing quite well. Igni, um, you're starting to feel a little bit sick. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, and then my last thing is that I am wanted in, uh, Gozar. Gozar? Gozar? Gorza. Gorza. So the first one was, wait, what did I say? I said, okay, I traveled across the ocean, or I spent a long period of time traveling across the ocean. Jeez. I don't know my father, and I'm wanted in Gozog. I'm going to take a wild guess. You don't have a great relationship with your father, so I think that one's true. You only ever talk about your mom. You don't have a good relationship with your papa. <laughs> Are you yes. feeling Igni? I'm, I'm picking you for daddy yeah. issues. Yes, but which one is a lie? <laughs> is I the believe you did not spend much time on the ocean. I feel like your clothes would fall, absolutely fall apart if you... St I don't know what's going on. If you spent too much too long in the sea. Yeah, you don't seem like the seafaring type, Drez. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I'm gonna ag agree that you're you didn't you didn't spend a lot of time on the sea. Maybe you spent a little bit, but I don't think you spent a lot. Igni, what's your guess of the lie? What? 
<laughs> He's like, huh? Do what you think I? About? Uh, are you okay, darling? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm so good. Do, As do you're I need... trying to form a sentence, you're getting more and more nauseous. <laughs> oh no! I'm so, I am, I'm, I'm fantastic. Okay, I think Igni is done for the night. Um. You, so you, you, I'd say when I'm done. <laughs> uh, you're all wrong. The lie was that I'm wanted in Gozog. <laughs> or, I'm not wanted in Goz Gozog. Okay, that makes sense. Are you wanted somewhere else? Maybe. <laughs> we'll have to do, we'll have to play another round to figure that one out. Good news. <laughs> uh, um, you are correct, though. I, I don't know my father. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know much about him, I and I did spend quite some time on the sea because I had to uh, leave for quite some time, and it took a couple of, maybe a few weeks, maybe about a month to get on a boat. People are weird. <laughs> True. Um, hey, Igni, do you want to come with me and get some water really quick? I don't know where the kitchen is, and I need you to show me, and I need water. Yeah. Okay, we'll be back, friend. All right, <laughs> come on. Let's mm -hmm. uh, go get some of that good old H2O, am I right? So I don't know if this is a competition, but while they're gone, we can review the points. Currently, Al is at five points for having guessed mine correctly, and none of us <laughs> guessed theirs correctly. Drez is right behind at four points, Having not guessed correctly for uh, any of them, but having successfully hid their truth from us all. And I am at three points, having hid it from some of you, but not all of you. Monty and Igni um. have yet to guess anything correct, but they've also yet to guess, they have yet to conceal the truth, or conceal the lie. Um, so. Wait, I... I got yours right, Sonder. You did? I did. Mm. Sneaky. Marty. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I'm still braiding the friendship bracelet, which is, ter like, it's like, so it's not like one of those dinky ones. Uh, Drez has made it into, like, a big, big, like, almost like, uh, like, cuff, but in bracelet form, and has beads going along it. <laughs> that looks very just like Amy's style. I hope he likes it, but he might be too far gone to remember who made it for him. <laughs> I suggest you put it on him tonight, because I feel like something tells me he might not want to wear it openly. So oh, well. He definitely will tonight. <laughs> throw it on, and he'll wake up in the morning and have no idea. Wouldn't that be funny? It will be a secret. <laughs> Uh, Al and Igni, you're making your way down to the kitchen, which is very easy to find. It's uh, down, like downstairs. It's one big room, the a door that, um, as you open it up, it's actually a kitchen and another door to the sleeping area for uh, the innkeeper. The guy's still um, there. And... Playing what? Salter. The guy plays Salter. Is he still there? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's still there. As you're passing him. Out. Are you still go to bed? <laughs> sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, um, where's the kitchen? I can't possibly find it on my own. It's gotta go to the place there. Gotta go there. All right, come with me. All right, great. How how how, you're, how tall are you? Five three. Hey, I'm like I'm six seven. So I'm I'm like <laughs> oh. Yep, come on. Okay, okay. All right. You can, like, get you get two glasses of water and be like, okay, chugging contest. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go! I take one swig and I puke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, let's get that cleaned up. At least it wasn't in the room. <laughs> it's in the kitchen. Oh. How are you feeling, oh. me? Oh, oh my God! I give us. Yeah, no, I feel. Uh, I'm feeling all right. Yeah. Oh, Good. sorry. 
Don't yeah. don't look at me. Don't look at. <laughs> I worked uh, at a bar. Remember, this is this is like my whole job. This is embarrassing. You're fine. Uh, all right, all right I'm good. I'm drink good. more water. I'm not letting you go until you drink two glasses. I'll fight you. What the fuck is this? Every party I've ever been to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. <laughs> D and D, where you can just <laughs> you do things you can just do. <laughs> well, not anymore. <laughs> uh, I I keep yeah. I drink the water. Get get chips. Get some bread. You want me to eat too? Yeah, All you right. can probably. We're yeah, just... no, I hear like bread kind of soaks up the juices, so that's probably just... a good one. We're just stealing things from the kitchen from men yeah. who's not even here. <laughs> uh, what are belongings? Other than things that you don't own yet. Um, take me. I just want to say I don't know what's going on. Um, and I know that things from your past can haunt you. And if you need anything, like I'm here for you. Um, and I didn't want to embarrass you and say that before, but like if you need anything, I got your back. Okay, you're my can friend now. Can everybody except Al and Gava leave? Or like, or just like, or like, put your headphones out or Defin. something. Definitely, you can definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sweating. <laughs> I uh, um. All right, hey, here's the deal, and here's what's going on, and here's kind of why I've been hanging around you guys all day today. Um, I might be single-handedly responsible for the complete devastation of this entire region. Um, and I need help fixing that problem, uh, yeah, because ahead. everybody we know and love could die. Okay, um, so I'm gonna assume this is not just the alcohol talking. Um, no. like, could you explain <laughs> how that is possible? No. But for your own protection, I can't. But I just need you guys. I just need you. If you can't, like, uh, it's just it's bad. Things are bad. Okay. And I'm kind of on a time crunch because it could okay. happen at any moment. Okay. So like, you need to get out of town. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go north, or I gotta go east. The letter was vague, but I gotta okay. go somewhere. And I gotta go ahead and stop this thing that's happening before it okay. happens. Uh, okay. Yeah. No, that's fine. Okay. No, that's. Hey, hey. You're gonna be okay. We're all gonna be okay. You're gonna okay? be okay. You're I am gonna, gonna be, be okay. okay. No, you're gonna be okay too, though. No, you're you're gonna be okay. Um. Okay. I feel that it's only right. Um. You're not the only one who's ever made a mistake. I also got something destroyed. It just like one in, not a whole town. That's pretty bad, not gonna lie. But we've all been there, and you're gonna be okay. Uh, no, you're uh, fine. Uh, no, you're fine. Uh, and I just kind of like, whoa. Okay, great. Um, so, like, some of that alcohol just like foams up in my mouth. Okay, one more glass of water. Then we're gonna go upstairs, and when you've sobered up tomorrow, we're going to have a talk with everybody about how to solve this problem, okay? No, you can't tell anybody about the ball in danger. You just got to be keep it shh. Okay, but what if they can help? Uh, uh, if they're all in danger, they should know, and we should let them help us. Friends uh, help each other. Uh, all right, fine. Okay. Whatever. And I break the glass on the ground. <laughs> Okay, well, okay, I gotta start keeping a tab. All right, um, Igni, look at me. You're gonna be fine. We're gonna get through this together. I hold out my hand for a handshake. And I fall on you. Great, okay, let's get you out. Can I just, like, fully try and, like, pick Igni up, like, bridal style and uh -huh. bring him back up to the room? Yeah, make me an athletics check to so see just how awkward that's gonna look. Great, love it. Um, athletics, that is going to be a 12. Yeah, the the guy who was playing solitaire uh, is like packing up and he just sees you like kind of like half bridle, half like dragging across the floor kind of, but 
Is you he get still him here? No I hate you. you. Aggressively. No. I hate you. I point you. <laughs> Fire whiskey. So sorry. Um, get him up the stairs. I'll kill you. He's not gonna. Don't don't yell at us for threats. Bring him back Are up. Are you threatening me? No. <laughs> it's fine. I'm waving yeah. the rest of the party to come back. I can text it. Blood. That's come also back. smart. No, I'm gonna go back. Go back. back. Go back. Yeah. Yes. No. All right. I just realized we've been level one for four sessions. Oh, that's insane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well. Oh, so it's um, been like six hours. Levels. I'm surprised we survived four sessions being at level yeah. one. <laughs> Um, just, just for context, uh, I walk by your room carrying Igni like I like he's the bride <laughs> um, in my arms, and I'm just gonna be like, Igni's kind of done for the night. I'm just gonna drop him in your room, Monty. If you could check on him in an hour, make sure he's on his side still, that'd be great. Sure. Oh, sure oh, as, as, as we're passing by at this point, I've probably finished his bracelet. I'm like, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna walk up and tie it around his wrist. Yep, good. <laughs> there we go. I. Yeah. You're you're like ripped, right? Like you're like, yeah, you got like yeah. shoulders too. Okay, that's just yeah. a really funny vision to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, though she be small, she be mighty. Truly. Um. All right, and I'm gonna be like, see, Igni, that's a bond of friendship. We're gonna figure it out together. And deposit you in bed. Oh, kerplunk. Okay, okay, sleep tight. Give like, kiss my hand. Give a little forehead kiss via my hand, and chop back to the main room. So that's why I don't trust anybody named Ivan. Uh, okay, <laughs> that, is a, that is a wonderful story, Dresdo. You should tell that more often. I'm surprised that wasn't yes. the thing you said to us. <laughs> I, I, honestly, I don't trust anyone named Ivan now either. Yeah. Yeah, right? Who, who just, who just, uh, believe, like, who, when you're available and for, like, a night, you just straight up reject somebody who's just as good looking as myself? Ugh. I, it doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> the nerve of some people. <laughs> Oh, ah, Chris, I have to finish. No. Hi, um, Chris. I promise I'm gonna work on your friendship with you right now. Oh, it's it's fine. It's fine. You were taking care of. Is gonna be okay? Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't want to. Um, Amy's gonna talk to us in the morning. Um, so I'll just let. I'll. We can just. We can just wait till then. It's. No, I mean, it's fine. It's, it's, we're all, everything's gonna be fine. We're all fine. Everyone take a, everyone just take a breath. It's fine. The, like, friendship bracelet threads are getting, like, more and more knots. <laughs> Turns into a knot. No, <laughs> I believe. Be uh, just nothing breathe. Like everything's gonna be okay. You breathe. You're okay. I'm fine. You're fine. We're all. <sighs> <clears throat> well, then I believe it would be Monty's turn. Right. Sure. <laughs> Let's keep playing. <laughs> yes. Why not? We've got to finish okay. the competition. I've crossed right. me off the list. In his point slot, I wrote, got sloshed. <laughs> nice. <laughs> got sloshed. He didn't have any points to begin with, so which is fine. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. My three truths. Truths. Um, I have never lost an arm wrestling contest. I have a twin, and I was a part of a traveling circus. Oh. Oh. Well, I believe that you've never lost an arm wrestling match. You are shoulders. <laughs> yes, you don't seem much like the circus type to me. I don't, okay, I don't actually know if you've only mentioned your sister to Igni or just, or if we all know that. So I don't want a metagame here. So, 
Hmm. Do you have a sister? Yes, I'm aware, but I don't think the rest of us know that. <laughs> I really want the traveling circus or the circus to be true, just because that's the coolest thing I've ever heard in my entire life, and I would love to go sometime. And please take me. Um. So just for excitement, I have to say that's true, and I think what's fake is that you have never lost an arm muscle because um I bet I could beat you. Um, no. I, the lie was that I don't have a twin. What? I do I do have a sister, and funnily enough, we were born on the same exact day, but she is two years younger than I am. Well, I never gave my answer, so I guess I just oh. sit out on that one. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> my bad, it's Dre. It's, it's, the, it's the dwarven <laughs> whiskey. It's getting to me. That's understandable. Yeah. Um, I was a part of a traveling circus <gasps> for two slip. years. Do a slip. Do a slip right now. Well, th that wasn't my act, per se. Uh, I, I could probably Would you do like it? to see what I did? Yes, I would, we would love, of course we would love to see what you did. I don't know if it's safe to do inside. <laughs> oh dear. Do it right here. Lion Okay. Okay. Um, I take my staff, I go to my room and get my staff. And, um, I light the two ends on fire. <laughs> And I start like twisting it around and doing like a fire dance in his room. And I will gladly do a performance check to see if uh, yeah. I set the room on fire. <laughs> Sonder is like oh. pinned against the floor trying not to get burned. Let's see. Um, performance, what's that? Uh, we got a 17. I'm That's clapping. good. Nothing's on fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm clapping, sitting on the floor, watching, unafraid. <laughs> it looks yeah. super cool. It's I like the just... fire's glinting off of the window. You it's, are... It gets very close to the drawers a couple of times, but like just in the <laughs> nick of time, Monty just gets it, uh, twists it around, and it doesn't set anything on fire. Monty, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, thanks, Al. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> that was also one of the most horrifying things I've ever seen in my entire life. Kind of the point. <laughs> that was so cool. Monty, you are very... You're a man of many talents. <laughs> all right, all right. A lot of weird things. <laughs> so, the final scores... Drez, may I ask, what were you going to guess for Monty's game? Uh, I was going to guess the no circus. <laughs> I was going to go opposite of Al and guess the circus was a lie, so I wouldn't have gotten a point. Wonderful, wonderful. So, the final scores come out to be... In last place, myself, unfortunately. In tied for third, or second, is Drez and Monty with four points. High five. And in first place, Lady Alicia Royce. Yeah. Ooh. And you know, some might consider Igni to have had the best night out of all of us. So maybe Igni was a real winner all along. Well. You go, uh, yeah, from the, from the room across the hallway. <laughs> or maybe not. Yeah, no, I'm not sure about that one. But um, I do think we should maybe all get to bed soon because the morning is going to be interesting, to say the least. And you are all slightly drunk, so maybe it's best we just get to bed and get that all taken care of so in the morning we have clear brains. Okay, yes, I team? I cannot wait to Sounds wake good. up in the morning to watch you all bathe. Okay. <laughs> that sounds good. Uh, I'm gonna start packing up my stuff and head- I'm gonna head back to the room first. <laughs> Thank you, Monty, for the bracelet. It looks- or the anklet. It looks wonderful. You're welcome, Monty. It's just my- Have fault. a good night. You too. Good night, Al. Good night, Rez. Good, good night, night. Oh, I- I've already left. <laughs>
Um, I will stop in with Monty to check yeah, on Igni. Yeah, just like our baby. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. How you feeling, Igni? Okay, okay. Get him on the side. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, uh, yeah. If you need anything, just come wake me up. I don't. It's fine. So, like, if you need help taking care of him, I'm all available. Okay. Also, Thank Monty, you, I just want to say you're really cool, and I want to be your friend, and we're gonna arm wrestle soon. <laughs> okay, I'll take you up on that. Okay, sounds good. Good night. A double good shoulders. Night. Double shoulders. Um, double shoulders. Uh, I will say when probably when Al returns back to the room, uh, Drez has is probably has the he's like sitting on the bed, but he has like the blanket or something over over his head, so Al cannot see what he is currently doing. Cool. Um, Al is just going to assume this is how Drez sleeps. <laughs> um, and gonna like take out the the friendship bracelet and just like put it on the table that has the mask in the drawer and like just leave it out there and, like if the candle's on blow it out get under the covers in her lovely nightgown and cuddle up go sleep i will wait until i think she's asleep um mm -hmm. the mask is not in the drawer currently it is in my hands as I'm sitting under the blanket, and I'm not looking at the front of it, I'm looking at the back, which has carved into the bottom of the mask a certain message that only Drez probably can only read. And he is lightly brushing his thumb over that message. And when he thinks, when he has had enough time to just meditate and thinks L is asleep, he's going to. Uh, un unveil himself and then return the mask into the drawer and close it. He will pick up the bracelet and put it on, and then he will snugly go to bed. <laughs> okay, and um, Monty and Thunder, are the two of you doing anything in your rooms before you go to bed? Yeah, before I go to bed, um, I just like sit on the edge of the bed and look out the window, and I pull out. Um, an amulet that's gold and has a tiny little ruby on the inside and I just hold it tightly in my hand and um, I turn it over and you guys wouldn't see this but it says Anna on the back and then I just hold it tight and then I go to bed. I take my socks off and fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> well okay. I'm going to and... um, well, I will unclasp the clasps of the wrist and the neck of my thing. I think I'm also going to take the pants off because they're really, really tight around the waist. And so I'm just going to like take those off. And the shirt is very, very long um, and almost looks like a little Victorian nightgown, but little Victorian boy as he runs around his room um, in this big old Love dress that. and then will lay down to fall asleep. Two okay. pillows stacked on top of each other. Two pillows. Obviously two pillows. And with that, we have our four drunk adventurers, one absolutely slush adventurer, and a boggle in a backpack heading off to sleep. <laughs> and we come back to Tales of Gnomes next week. Hey. Yay! Yeah. We had our sleepover. It was so we pleasant. Did. We bonded. We bonded. Bonded. <laughs> All I right. had so many, I will say, I had so many truths, and I was just like, oh, I don't know which one to go with. We will have to do a round two. We will have to do a round two. It's like a, and night, a, pillow fight. a and nightly a... ritual now. We didn't do the pillow fight. Dang it. All right. It's okay. We're going to a bathhouse the next yeah. day. We'll do something more. We'll, we'll <laughs> splash around. Body. Okay. Monty's excited for a bath anyway <laughs> thank you everybody who joined us sorry for that little hiccup in the middle where we died and had to come back um i will try and figure out some sort of way to i don't know if it'll post both videos on the thing um it'll be in two parts but th on the youtube it will be all one part so i will put the two 
clips together into one so that it is not it is viewable as one f like solid piece instead of two separate pieces so cool other than that i don't think we have anything else thank you all so much for coming and we'll see you next week at 11 a.m central standard time bye 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 bye, bye everyone bye.